give Neko a chance to maybe wake up and be alive and do Neko oh, things. They're alive right now. Oh wow. Okay, they went. Is this the server game D? Ah, ooh, ooh, oh, wow, ooh, You know what, I'm gonna go along with you with this today. Or just go live? No. Reactive? Ye. Don't really feel like fighting with VTube right now. I just don't feel like dress going. Even react. Even dealing with having to basically know how I'm moving or whatever. Hmm. Power one. You got the new code? No, maybe I did. Sure wow, I did not know that was in an update. Whoa, whoa. Hmm? Now yeah, you can just play. We could basically just put a green screen behind you. Really? Yeah. Hmm. At some point, I might try to draw my own reactive so I can, like, cut out, like, the bits, you know, to give me a slightly transparent, you know. Ah. And then make it so, like, the things behind me are, you know, I'm not just a cube. If yeah, that makes sense. Not just cube. Yeah. Anyways, I forgot my stuff on the tweeters. 
All right, Tweeter. Um, this one. Have Twitch pulled up because I can't monitor and view that. Ooh. Are you up? Hello? Oh, you are live. Mm. Oh, I just realized I never changed any of my stream stuff. You're still Twitch. set. You're still set to all like power wash him or something, aren't you? No. I was at the power wash sim still. But it's been a few days. I was set to Fantasy Star Online. Ow, that my feet. It was the which is um a partial afterthought for me for some reason. I don't have your stream muted. <laughs> And another custom talk just for this called Hades Chan. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I, mean, I should make a custom doc for your chat, shouldn't I? Since we basically only ever stream together. Yes. Which TV does Sarah bear? Premise. All right, uh, hot out chat. Copy this link. Mm -hmm. Create custom doc. Hopefully we get Krampus today. Yeah, a, and hope, um, hope Super Saiyan and, and a non Super Saiyan three state. <laughs> yeah, though I know we're playing on insane, but I'm, I've got a feeling we'll be okay, even if we encounter him right now. In theory. In, yeah, in theory. Gotta finagle my fucking sources and shit around. I don't make room for your chat. Yes.
I should do it. I'm not reactive is transparent. I'm not logged into Twitch, so I can't actually chat in your chat. What? Oh, I can't log in. I can't turn your chat either. So we can just see our chats, huh? Yes. Okay. This is the more important thing. Just being able to see the chat rather than actually talking it? Yeah. Okay. I thought we were able to do anonymous shit. Like, you know, chat without actually being logged in. Apparently not. Because all the other chat rooms do that. They just say, like, user string of numbers. Because I know you can do that on YouTube chats. Like YouTube live, like YouTube live chat, you can just sort of chat without being signed in. You'll just, you'll be just be like, user, like, in like eight numbers. Uh, you know, fans, he does it. You're just user, like eight numbers. I think every other, like, streaming service does it. You're just user and like eight numbers. I didn't realize Twitch didn't let you do that. Anyway, there I can just I... do that. Yeah, beans. I just find it weird that I'm not automatically signed in to the dock, considering I'm signed into Twitch via OBS. I just find that a bit weird. Anyways, shall we get started? Yeah, so I can actually explain the reason you're not automatically signed in via the custom talk. Yeah. Because technically it's really bringing in a browser source. Oh, it's basically, it's, it's basically just a custom browser source? Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. Making sure I'm not muted, making sure you're not muted, making sure the game's visible, making sure the game can pick up audio. I think. Yes. Uh, speak for a second, Sarah. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, everything's picking up. Wait, why am I carrying those? Ooh, actually, here we go. Can we pick up four items? One, yeah, let's see. two, three, four, we can. The drone has a little... Just, I just realized the drone has a tiny shipping crate. That's what he's carrying. Yeah, it's an Amazon drone. We uh, spent the money and got one of those. Okay, well, I'll go run around and find the uh, senior... Oh, it's a, it's a 40. 45.50? Red 3. 45.50. Okay, if it's footprints, it's a Babadook. Yeah, footprints, Bobby... It's bloodstain. Bloodstain, so it is a puppet. Delightful. Do you think he's going to be Super Saiyan 3? Uh, maybe. Uh, what is the puppet's weaknesses? He has no... Oh, I was say he has no multi uses I'll just buy a fuck ton of the, uh, of what was it? Regular salt and cruise and, uh, holy fires. Yep. Did he just throw? Did he throw Stevie? Maybe he did, but I'm a little busy. Uh, he might have just lifted Stevie. Let me take a look. Oh, what do we got? One to five. One to five. Part of a counter, one to five hundred. He's definitely doing something with Stevie, because I keep hearing Stevie go, like, crunch. But I keep looking away before he does anything. Three of the five item. Cool. Chuck downstairs with a skull, because I think each item has a fixed spawn point. It's just it has multiple spawn points. Yeah. I should get, um... Some defense? Yeah. B. What are our optionals? Take photo of ectoplasm. Take photo of drawing. Bring curse mirror to band. So basically, 
to anyone who may or may not be present, we're making a meme out of the insane ghost because we've got this house down that on lock. Yeah. The only ghost who's given us any sort of trouble is that one Babadook and Krampus. And that one puppet from yesterday, which basically just refused to let us do anything because it just kept chain hunting. It's like every time we stepped inside, he tried to kill us. That was a fun round, though. Till I till the, the power went out. <laughs> yeah. Found one. Found one what? Uh, girl's bedroom closet. Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. Alright, turn the closet light on. Remember to look for the monies, because that's another, I think, another, like, three or four hundred dollars. Yeah, I, that might also be, uh... Not? Or whatever. That also might be difficulty-based? Yeah. Uh, so I'm lagging. Did we get something? Yeah. Okay. Oop. Found one. Found one what? Upstairs bathroom. Another ectoplasm. That's the, that's that's the two. Yep. Growling. Okay. I just realized I'm not on capture. You're not capturing the game, are you? No, I am. I just wasn't on the capture thing. You were still on your starting screen, weren't you? I was uh, not starting, but rather... Just chatting? Just chatting. Ah, yeah. silly Sarah. Yeah. So, it's a growl. So let's go with... Let's go with aggressive young... Never mind, it's a side to side, he's aggressive. Let's go with aggressive middle. Yep. Alright, first things first holy fire, and then salt. So basically, the stuff we're carrying, just hit them back to back. And okay, five lights. One? Plasma absorber. So holy fire, so tiki torch, salt. Light sources, plasma absorber, holy salt, pentagram ritual. Alright, so I'll carry basically everything. But I can I'm carry I can carry literally I can carry thing. literally everything. Yeah. Holy fucking Jesus Christ. I love how we're like, we'll make a meme out of them, yet we still react like this. Well it's no, hilarious. no. What happened, Sarah, is he got me on the fucking porch. Uh huh. Like, I wasn't even through the- I was like, I just went through the door and he gra insta-grabbed me. And, like, the, basically it was the, like, I didn't expect to get grabbed there. Like, right away. Okay, he's been holy- he's been holy furied. The next up, Salt. Ooh, ew. You know, that star- that wasn't- uh. that, that was startled. Yeah, he just grabbed me so I had to do fire because that was what was in my hand. Yeah, you see what I mean about how the things are, like, not even hunting, they're just, he's just insta-grabbing? Yeah, so I'll hold salt in my hand. Mm -hmm. Now watch us actually have be prepared for him, now he's gonna actually hunt and make us drop everything. Yes. But at least I only have two things. I have all, I have all four of everything. Actually, I should leave this out. You should leave that out. That way... Can... That way if he does end up drop, making me drop it. All right, regular salt. <gasps> lights. I have light sources. Do the lights. I'll get. The, I need to make sure we have sanity pills. One, two, three. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, I think I have a little bit of money. Plasma and holy salt. You have right. holy salt? I have the holy salt, yes. So okay. drop that bitch in the doorway. Okay. And you when he gets slurp here? slurp. I missed. I missed because he fucking crouched. 
Oh, his hip, his hitbox, yeah, his hitbox actually drops when he does that. Let me take these sanity pills. Because I was almost at zero. Why you don't... Do think... Okay. When we complete this, I need to check something in the OBS settings. Why, is something not capturing properly? No. It's capturing correctly, but then it basically just also showed my overlay. Okay, yeah. Uh, overlay for some reason turned on, so... What overlay? Oh! Is it, is it, are you capturing the window or the game? Because then you have to do some funky shit to get a uh, PSO to capture. Man, I'll, I'll wait. While you pinnacle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, didn't you have to do like some... literally one setting. Yeah, didn't you have to like change it from a game capture to a window capture? Yeah. There you go. Is it working now? Yeah. Also, I just realized my pants have a different texture. Look at my legs, like my th my calves. They have spots now. Stars. Ah, I'm on low pa I'm on low resolutions. Or miss? No, we have everything. Ah, I need saving. I need saving. I can't save you. He he he, he was invisible. I couldn't save you. Turns out it bullied me. All right, we leave because I I don't think I can do the ritual with only two attempts with by myself purely because of how fast that thing moves. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna go get. I want. We're gonna go and give you CPR, and then come back later and later in the night. Yeah, it'll be a completely different ghost. Yeah. I had a I had a notification. I had a notification and it's not actually showing me what the notification was in Twitch. The fuck? It's not actually showing me what the notification was. Okay, I guess, I guess it had it had to have been somebody went live. Like it had to have been somebody I follow went live. Because it, it's not showing me the actual notification. Right. No, I don't want that. You take that. Like the Geiger. The, the radio in this. Wow, right away, huh? So we got a negative, 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 negative. It's like negative, negative six, negative six, negative nine. That's a t that is a 10 to 20. EMF three. Why did you drop the radio? Oh, did I drop the radio? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting used to having four slots. That's definitely that's a definite EMF three. So are they gallows or the chilled? All right. You need to light all on place. So I'm just carrying around the torch. I think I'm in danger. Uh, I lost connection to server. Is that still you? Uh, the, we can reconnect. Mm, okay, so is that still you? Are you in the living room? No, it's, it's my uh, twin, uh, Bera. Mm, Bera Sari, huh? Yep. Ah, isn't she a dick? Yeah. Oh, no. Anyway, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get Gaiagometers. What was it? Extremely cold? It was very cold in EMF3. 
Very oh, I think cold? It... What you'd find is very cold. Uh, it was negative 20 degrees okay. Celsius. It's either Gallows Child, but I'm pretty sure it's Gallows. Oh, they got a tiki torch. Look for orbs. That'll guarantee it because they have two different they have two different evidence types. Gallows is the tiki torch, and the child is video camera, I believe. Or two different ones. There's the cursed mirror. That might be useful. That's a pocket watch. I do believe I just heard the Ouija board get touched. Alright, gallows. Uh, you found you found something with the tiki torch. Yeah. So. Oh, Steve gets a haunting. Steve got thrown. One to five. I think I know what it is. Yep. Okay. Okay, it's holy water. Alright, I got the holy coom salt. Golden salt. bomb. Alright, I'll take the alright, do you want do you want I'll take the golden bomb. That way not all of us have one item. I'll grab the cruise the cruise. Alright, you got cruise. I'll buy a crucifix. By the fact that I'm broke as shit, I'll buy one. So, yes. Holy water, salt. So, bop them back to back if you see them. I have the tiki... Uh, do we have the candles lit? No. Figured we can do that after. Well, I mean, do we have at least three candles lit? We have at least three. Okay, that's good. Then, golden bomb pentagram, alright. Oh, go for your spooky bitch. Be gone. Out of this house. There he is. Hit him. You missed. Yeah. Oh no, we gotta spend, like, not even, like, a percent of, like, a single percent of our earnings to buy new stuff. Uh, though that's provided we survive, Sarah. Oh, he's in the- Ow, ah, ah, okay. Got spooked. I didn't realize he was in the doorway. Okay, well, I just used the golden bomb because I had it in my hand. Uh, Sarah, that was a hundred dollars. I just, I just wasted. Okay. So I'm broke, broke. I have ninety-four dollars left in my name. We only have two of the items. What? We only have two of the items so far. I have the, the watch in my inventory. Like, it's still in my inventory. Okay, then we got three. Yes. I say... This yeah, is extreme. So I, I say I'll buy a salt. That way I have three defense items in my inventory. Oh, what? Oh, right. Uh, hey, Sarah, can you go drop this? Drop what? So I can pick up the salt up so I can have defensive items in my inventory. Okay. That way, I'm gonna go looking for the items. Uh, did you get... Are we missing... I don't know, what did we just get? Holy water. Okay. The next up is salt, yes? Yeah. Mm, suck my dick. Suck a fart out my ass, you spooky bitch. I guarantee you, you know how feet taste. Have you seen that tongue? I guarantee you he's licked some suspicious shit in his day. We need the mask, that's all. Here he comes. Ah, ah, I'm dead. Alright, time to go do CPR a second time. It's, it's because he doesn't, uh, he, it's because when he attacks you, he's not visible like he is on the other two difficulties. Yeah. So I don't know where to throw to defend you. I missed with my throw. 
I think I threw it between you and him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's do this on hard. So we actually have a chance to earn the money back. So yeah. then we can do insane. Because I don't have any money to buy stuff if we miss. Because they're not, they're not multi-uses. So let's actually like earn like a couple grand. And then go back to insane. Yes. Because while well, I... I have enough money to die I don't. a couple times. You don't. I have like ninety four, like a ninety four or a hundred bucks. Yeah, I've got three k. Oh wow! Look at Miss Rich Titties. I'll rub it in, why don't you? Found the money. Stolen. Is that Steve already getting yeeted? No. Is it video or photos? Photos. And recording. But I'll take the photo camera. For now. Must I take the chance and scoop up everything we see? Before he goes super... Who the fuck? Oh, that's Neko, isn't it? Oh, what? I'm low. Yeah. Mask. <laughs> what? I should probably turn you down. Rose is upstairs. Rose is in the upstairs bedroom. You scared the ever-loving shit out of me, Sarah. I turned around and all I saw was your drone. And I was like, ah, oh, great, it's a demon. Then I realized we've not manifested the bastard yet. Oh, it is. Oh, he's in here. I think he's following yeah, you I around. The I think he's following you around. Oh, EMF two, EMF three, EMF three. Negative eight. Negative ten. Negative thirteen. Yeah, okay, it's another cold one. Neko, can you talk? Three. Try to grab me, bitch. Okay, it's a it's another gallows or child. So they got EMF three and it's very cold. Uh, Neko is Neko alive? I don't think Neko's alive. Yeah, I'm the figment of your imagination. Something like that, yes. Yeah, that also all we heard was you play, you messing with whatever with your mic. That technically. would mean that the two of you would have to have a shared hallucination. That not beyond, not out of. Not, the... Like, one of us isn't the prime, and the rest are hallucinations. Okay, I found the mask. Did you get the rose yet? I did. Let me see, I have an inventory uh, slot. Bros. Lost connection to server. Hmm. So I think I see what they mean by fix your fucking servers. Yeah. We've had how many server problems today? Freddy, yesterday? Several. S substantial number, yes. So oh, I... Hello? Hello? You alive again? Yes. Yeah, uh, footprint is a child. Yeah, I already knew it was a child. Great. We gotta deal with that scream. But you know why I knew it was a child? You see it? I saw the thing through uh, the UV. I saw it through the camera. Ooh. Okay, incense. Oh, oh good, the money counts as an optional objective, it gives you it. Uh, it gives you like $400. There. So, the TV torch doesn't work. Do I have the mask? I'll check the basement for the skull. Oh, that's the Wooga board. Side to side. 
toy. I should probably grab the toy, right? Yeah, we're gonna need that. It is a one to five. So it's a middle ghost. Steve is still present, so I don't know. If, I don't, it's not a haunting. Uh, Skull is not in the basement. Oop, but I do know where one of the orbs are. Basement. Ooh. It's behind the staircase. Scribble, scribbles. Uh oh, here he comes. <sighs> oh, it just insta grabbed me. I didn't even get it. Okay, there's now an orb in the living room. So all three are present. He had a fear of poop. Oh, uh, go use the video camera on the notebook. And the ghost speaks. I mean, we need to take a pic. Record drawings on the notebook on video. He scribbled. I love how it's record. Oh, growl. Growl. All right, so I'm going to just assume it's an aggressive ghost, but it's not touching the. It's not touching Steve. So we need the Holy Coom explosive. Cursed toy, five lights, a magic book. Oh wow, this is a real simple one. I'll, uh, here, you... Why do you take the book? I got the, uh, where's the book at? Uh, I got the toy in the book. Finally. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Pick up your shit. Turn on lights. Fuck. How did we not notice this? What? Skull was inside the ritual room. Oh, okay. Well, that's all five then. Yeah. No, we're missing the dream catcher. Yep. Oh, wait, did you get a photo of the ghost feet? There's a ghost feet. Yeah, I'm almost very certain we could leave everything. Okay. Well, I'll just, Let me just check. Y'all just yeet that down and just step outside and wait. Yee. Alright, well, it's gonna trigger the book. Did the we book's... get the light? Yeah. Uh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, last correct action turn on five lights. So just wait for the book to do something. Your hair appears through the glass. It's it acts like Larry's uh, Larry's body. It's the shading is way off. All right, come downstairs. Oogie boogie. Ow, my brain. Okay, now we just need to find the green, the dream catcher, which I think is upstairs somewhere. I'm gonna pick up my my items, my three items, real quick. I have the mask. Don't. Leave them down? Leave them on the ground now. Fine. Weirdo. Oh, Sarah, we have it. Come here. Just we can just fight it. We'll do it now. You wanna know where it was? Where? Uh in the room with the in the, with the pentagram. We have all the items. Here it comes. Yeah. 
Alright. Get that noise. Unless yeah, Bully is it, Bully a chill a chill until during it. It starts running at you if you're able to We got my three, We've got skull, clock, and mask. Get your two. Okay, Let's fight I got a my two. Mask. Who's died? Watch you watch. Be gone, foul beast. Rose. Well, uh, we are professionals. We are. And had you not got grabbed both times by the fucking thing on Insane, because I couldn't defend you, we would have probably been doing exactly this on Insane. Mm-hmm. Alright, there's one, by the sounds of it, like right here. Slip that dew up. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I've, I've slipped up the Baha. Oh. oh, have either of you tried Fruit Quake? The fuck is Fruit Quake? It's the, uh, Holiday Mountain Dew flavor this year. That sounds uh, abysmal. It tastes like alcohol free alcohol. Alcohol free alcohol? What yeah. is it? My local grocery that now has alcohol free alcohol actually? How's. Is that like root beer? How does the fuck that work? No, it sounds like the the place sells it's vodka like without the vodka. Oh, so is it like it is it like the taste of vodka but not actually alcohol? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, that makes more sense of whatever the fuck I was thinking. Uh, there's one in the upstairs bathroom, I think. Let me go check the upstairs bathroom and double check. I can use my ears. That it's red when I would have thought it would be it would look like ginger ale. No, it is not in the upstairs bathroom. Okay, that's that that's been slurped. That's the I third one. The one is, though. I don't. Oh, the final one's downstairs. Yeah, that's one of the the, the basement. The basement. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I suppose yes, the ghosts are in fact going Super Saiyan still. I mean, you saw how that puppet was. <laughs> like he was absolutely like not playing by the established rule book. Yeah. And we were just like, we'll take our ball and go home. Yep. Well, he killed you, so. is so useful. It, isn't it, though? Yeah. Yeah. 
get made a meme. She get made a meme, child. 3,000 coins. So now we can afford to go back to insane. Well, you can. Yes, and here we go. Now watch it be Super Saiyan 4. I mean, watch it be Super Saiyan 3 Krampus again. Because that was an interesting round. <laughs> Yes, and we haven't encountered Krampus since then. We have not actually encountered Krampus since then. He came, he conquered, and he left. Yeah. He conquered my ass. Bloodstains, well, it's not Krampus. Oh, actually, it could still be Krampus. Bloodstains. Yeah, it could be Krampus. This needs to be Krampus. I hope it is, because we haven't caught him yet. He went Super Saiyan through. Oop, oop, negatives, negatives, negatives. Negative 15. EMF 5. Let's go. So it's down to either the Dream Devourer or the Krampus. And we can't even use the other thing to help. Nope. They're both UV, aren't they? Yeah. Well, we can actually use one thing to determine whether or not it is Krampus. The notebook, yeah? Yeah. It's, uh, and then either going to like, die via this. What do you got? I have the... Um... The statue. All oh, right, It's the Jesus statue, isn't it? Yeah, so if I die while holding it, that means it isn't Krampus. That means it's the but devourer it's of it's the devourer of semens. Yes. I have the skull. I know where a mask is. I get mask. I'm about to pick up the uh Okay, I have two What you have? Uh, watch and dream. I know, I saw a mask. Where a mask at? Oh, another way we can tell is if he suddenly fucking mimics one of us. Yes. God, imagine Super Saiyan 3 Krampus on a mimic run. Isn't that now, already happened? Yeah, okay, there's one in the upstairs girl's closet. One ectoplasm. The, the oh, you, you scared the shit out of me again. Stop doing that. Stop creeping around all slow like. Uh, what was it? The particle kind of went off. It's a, it's a one five, so it's young or middle. Okay. Yeah, I found the mask. Growl. Growl. Well, I have the skull and the rose. You have everything else. Let's go dump. Uh, let's uh, stick together. Stick together. I don't have anything that I can throw at you. We'll stick together. Just dump the things. What do you have? Uh, uh, we have everything. Yes, we do. Now let's abscond until he does something to the Ouija board or the notebook. Yeah. Okay. Can we see through this camera that I just dropped? Uh, yeah. We have to put the flashlight down. So we can see. We can stay safe and sound in the van. And the camera turned off. That's atrocious. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Let me try this one. Oh, it's a Krampus. Mimic? Krampus, because he drew in the notebook. It's a person. So it's a Krampus. Krampusy. 
Oop, he's downstairs. This one's showing the motion sensor one. He's downstairs. He's moving around. Oop, that's the Ouija board. It did not interact. Oop, he's, he's right there. Please back up. So he did not interact with a young. Or probably young aggressive. Young, young aggressive? Yeah. Alright, golden bomb. Oh my god, golden bomb with ring light. Summon the mirror. Oh, we haven't found the mirror yet, have we? Oh, I know where the mirror is. Okay. But I need the camera for him to help me. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I was lag. Okay, either I'm dead or I picked up a defensive item. Okay, we just got the. M what did we just get? Weathering light. Okay, uh, you stay in here. I'm gonna place that down. I'm gonna stay right here. Keep an eye on these cameras. Pick up some fire salt just in case. I'm gonna pick up some fire salt just in case so there's two things I can grab. Is this working? I am downstairs. Uh, probably. I should drop that. Okay, five lights. I'm gonna get a new just hold and not have to care about it. Gonna get me a taco torch. And that way I have two defense items if need be. Got we it. Need the ashes, please. One Vesuv one ash from Mount Vesuvius. On that's two ash from Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> wow, this these four item slots are so useful. Yes, very much. There's one. And what? One of his balls. Yeah. Then there's what there is. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Now to turn off all light. Sir? He's still there. Uh. Did he just did throw. Just move? He, he just moved our camera. Did I go into the back? Maybe we should go into the back door for some of these things. Might be safer. Uh-oh, he's in the living room. I don't want to... 
he was in the living room because the camera turned on. You gotta turn off those lights, but I don't want to. They're upstairs. It's scary to me. Did you get him? Uh, there's light. Oh, one of those is probably the. You're dead. I like how we're all like, oh, we're gonna make a meme out of them, but this bitch is actually genuinely scary. Well, this is the first time we even encountered them, really. Oh, Jesus. Where is he? Where is he? He's not mimicking, though. I've noticed that. But he might only yeah. mimic if we're in the house. Like, if, he's, if we're in the house for, for a prolonged period of time, he might only make, mimic then. Or, like, if somebody's dead. Yes, okay, we need the light. Where the fuck are the lights? One is probably the upstairs closet where they, one of the orbs are. Blame you for this. <gasps> down the stairs, down the stairs. Oh, he cut off. He's mimicking. There he is. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's downstairs. Oh, he's downstairs. Now I want him to strike me. You mean like that? Yes. You know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna bully the fuck out of him. Oh boy, let me just drop the expensive item. And that. We only need the one we only need one defense item. Actually no, we don't even need a defense item and like once we start it, because he's stuck. No, we should have one defense item. Just in case we touch him? Yeah, just in case we accidentally don't notice. You know do you know that we're YouTubers, right? We don't have things mm -hmm. else. Alright. Skull, mask, cream catcher. Cream catcher. The clock on the other side. Mask. Mask. I can't get to that. Oh. I can't get to that yet. Alright, it's just yours, too. Yep. Rose. Alright, last one's the clock, yeah? Yeah. Voila, we have bullied him. I now since he's a tier three ghost, I will stay in here and keep an eye on him. Because right. valid. Because we've not actually done a tier three on insane. Because we didn't get a Babadook, did we? We didn't actually we catch did the Babadook. The Babadook actually kicked our ass. No, actually, we never we never died to a Babadook. No. Oh, oh, so did we? Do, oh, that wasn't on insane though, was it? That was on hard. Hmm. You're very tall, aren't you, sir? I think if he didn't have this hunch, he'd be taller than the demon. Yeah, probably. Because he's like 6'8", as is, because he's taller than me. God damn, his hands are gigantic. I prefer yeeting children off cliffs. Probably. I'm just waiting for him to do his vanishing act. Because I kind of do want him to do that on camera. Or look away and look back. I'm just, I'm just keeping my back turned to him. Anyway. Oh, whoa, whoa. Do you 
you hear that? Hear what? What am I listening for? I guess I was just paranoid. No, I meant I, I meant that literally because I apparently my head I had my headset turned down really low for some reason. Ah. So I don't know what the fuck I'm I was supposed to have been hearing because I couldn't hear a thing. Downstairs. Bathroom was. Finally got to bully Krampus. Yeah. Oh, did you get all the all the all the juice? Yeah. Ho ho ho! You sack of shit. Also, I really just consider uh, the ritual us bullying him or any of the ghosts, really. All that money. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Let me know if you get where cool. you don't play something else. All right. What? Just let me know if you want to switch games or well. Uh, I need to finish my food or at least what's left of it. Okay. So you want to pause for a moment? So. I'm gonna go just chatting for a bit. Okay. Anyway. I was your day in everybody. Also, the Twitter views thing is definitely bullshit because apparently, like, people are making brand new accounts and locking them so no one can see the tweets, and they're getting like hundreds and hundreds of views on locked posts. So again, like, no one can see them, but apparently they're getting hundreds of views. So yeah, that's no sense. So yeah, no, it's a hundred percent. Just it's a hundred percent BS. Yeah. Which isn't that exactly what Facebook did, or does? Yeah. They lied about views. Well, actually, no. Technically, Facebook did tell the truth about views. No, apparently, Just Facebook their inflated. Their metric was broken. No, Facebook apparently outright said they inflated their views by like 10x to make it look favorite, like make them look better than YouTube for videos and stuff. So or just how like them, yes, but or they just how they put they the they put some people is even fake technically. Well, they put people out of business doing it. Like they basically like college humor and go funny or die. Apparently, they went out of business because they moved over to Facebook because it looked like Facebook was you know blowing up and the shit as well, they say. College humor almost died. Mm. His college humor's still around. Oh. At least it Defy almost died because of that, I think. In the alley, what happened? Hmm. 
And I think the view thing might be inflate conflated by follower count as well. Yeah. That makes sense. So like some so apparently locked accounts are getting views that they shouldn't. Because again, you know, locked with no followers. Like people are making like control groups essentially, they're making this into a science. But apparently like people with lots of followers are getting like thousands of views when the exact same post put onto an alt account they had got one view, etc. So it might be tied to it might just be an artificial number that they're just assigning get based on followers and you know other criteria. Which that's just like Oh my god. Yeah, oh my gosh. Almost just if uh Elon's trying to add any value you can to seem like he's actually doing well. Wow, Elon's saying he's pro FBI, but they don't know how to do their job. Wow. That's that's a hot take, my man. Also, the reason why uh, we know it's uh, the viewer count's absolute bullshit because Elon is apparently getting like several billion views when, on some of his posts, and I'm pretty sure there's like there's not that many people using Twitter at any one time. So, I actually have a hunch why he might be getting those even in inflated numbers. Yeah, I've got a hunch that a view is any single time someone use it even if they're scrolling past it multiple times oh so basically it's how if it shows up on somebody's screen for even a split second it counts as a view yeah because that's the exact same algorithm that facebook actually oh uh, so maybe it's a mix and of artificial their own numbers. so it might be a mix of artificial numbers and an actual metric yeah uh Apparently, Attack on Titan's fascist. Like, just as a, as, you know, just like the undertones, which, I, uh, is it? Yes. Okay, I've not, I've only ever seen season one, so I couldn't say anything past that. Not fascist at that point. Eventually, it does become fascist. Um, I, I, I've heard, I've heard so apparently I, Aaron goes like neo-Nazi or something. Uh, kind of. So I'll actually explain it, and you actually have to not interrupt me while I'm explaining it, please. Huh? Uh, so essentially, this is how the story goes. Long ago, there were these magically gifted individuals, all descended from one person, who could turn to Titan, and that is now passed down through their blood... Are they are they pulling some descendants of like descendants of God bullshit? Not really. Like there was the original Titan, like the like the Master Titan or the like founding Titan, I think is what they call it. Yeah, that is the individual person that got the power, forged a nation out of it, and then fucking died. The people, and then the power started becoming less and less. Like, less pure, so they became, like, these sub-branches, like, you know, the Colossus Titan, the Beast Titan, the Chick Titan, Aaron. No, those are the pure enough. No, I meant, like, it becomes less pure, so they're no longer, like, on par with the Founding, but they're, you know, they're still able to transform, because they're pure enough to transform. Yes. But apparently, and like, then, Aaron can so steal the... or absorb other Titans' powers to make himself stronger? Yes, possibly. I don't know. I haven't 
read no because like i heard like bits and pieces that apparently aaron becomes the founding titan by absorbing all the other people's powers like pokemon like pokemon gotta catch them all style i think a better comparison is vampire the masquerade yeah well i just absorb all the people's blood to become the ultimate being yeah, that's basically the idea behind Vampire the Masquerade. Like, there's the original vampire, yeah, and every vampire is technically a descendant, but the more vampire blood you consume, the closer you become to the original vampire. Yeah, so cause... theoretically, if you consume enough uh, vampire blood, you essentially become the original vampire. Yeah, because I know Aaron absorbed... Vampire blood that is strong. As far as I know, Aaron absorbed the Armor Titan and the Colossus Titan and the Beast Titan, and eventually he does just straight up become the Founding Titan, which is like this gro like this grotesque dog deer motherfucker. Yes. Now, actually, let me explain a bit more so you actually know the fashion element. So, how it is, it then moves along to when they started weakening. And thus, everyone who was part of this base of people had to move, and but also still abandon all their brethren across the world and move to the walled city. E. Well, city. Uh, it, it was just a singular city. It wasn't like the triple ringed, whatever the fuck it was in the actual no, anime. It was still the triple ring. Oh, okay. Uh, they also used magic to construct those walls out of also titans. I, I, yeah, I was told those walls are full of corpses. Uh, living titans, actually. Oh, they're just live titans in there? Or do they get, like, Mario to transmute it to stone type shit? No, it's live titans. Oh, so there's just, just titans hibernating in those walls, huh? Yeah. That seems... That seems like a really, really bad idea waiting to happen. Not gonna lie. Uh, but the people also built the city are the people who controlled the Titan. Oh, so there was, like, some mind control shit happening? No, they were the Titan people. Oh, so, the, so, so like, the transforming peoples were the ones who got stuck in the wall. Yeah, but also the transforming people also the people in the wall. They, like, inside the city. Oh, in it. so they were both. Yeah. Sort of, okay. And then... The rest yeah. of the world progressed while the wall of the city stayed medieval. So now there are guns and shit in the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. They bring up and the guns. Every single, and every single person who has the blood in them of the Titan people now must wear a symbol. I think it's a star. Identifying that there are uh, this pure, uh, this quote-unquote pure race or whatever? Not pure race, but rather of the enemy Titan. to everyone else. Oh, so basically they got segregated. Yeah. Oh, uh, and Star, that's, and, yeah, I, I see where it's starting to go fascist, yep. And if they have the power, then they have to use it for the sake of their nation. So, like, Aaron does, sort of? Or did? Yes. Yeah, basically. Because once then they... Iron yeah, goes, cause... Okay, I'll be the ultimate bad guy for the world, uh, and I'll basically use my power to bring down that wall and bring out all those titans to destroy the world, but then also I get rid of the power and destroy those titans to make it so that everyone had an ultimate enemy, and now they're all working together. No, no, there's no more enemy, and really there's just going to be another war. So basically, so he wanted. He, basically, he wanted to. Of the Titan. He wanted to be Syndrome, but he really fucked up. No, he's not. He wants to be Syndrome. Well, he said he, he wanted to. Want everyone he, to be Titan. He wants everyone to be human. Yeah, he wants. He's like anti Syndrome. It's like, uh, no, there ain't going to be. No, there's no one's going to be have to be a Titan when nobody can be. Yeah. But so basically, there is no more Titans except like what Aaron. Or something? No, Aaron even dies. Oh, does he die? Okay. So, ooh, is that how season four ends? Every all the Titans are dead, so now there's just going to be That's people how wars. The final season ends. Oh, oh, is there five seasons? I don't know if there's five seasons. Maybe that there's five seasons, but it's called the final season. Ah, 
So basically, everyone dies, war, apocalypse, bad times, yeah? No, not even everyone dies. It's like, literally, Eren and all the Titans maybe die, but they're like the ancient Titans that die, while every other young Titan that so basically all a the human lifespan is still alive because they lived a human lifespan. So basically, all of the transforming Titans are dead, but all the ones that have been, you know, running around eating people are just fine? No. I'm confused. You are confused, because you're... You're a VTuber. Yes, so... But, uh, let me explain it in the simplest that I can. Eren is really the only one that dies at the end, as far as I know. Beyond the people who just got killed. So basically... When when he makes the magic power disappear, everyone who was a titan <sighs> just returns to human. Oh, so he just took away the power, but not the killing people. Yeah. Okay. He sent the power back to God. Oh, God. Did you get any of the allegories that were sent about that story? I know the star thing and the, like, quote-unquote superior race shit with the, you know, humans and Titan people. Yeah, I, I, I'm I getting some fascist, like, Nazi shit, yeah. Yeah, but the superior race was, it was the Jewish people, essentially. Well, up until they had, they got segregated. Then, they, then it became far more, like, darker, darker allegory there. Yeah. Because it was conform or die at that point, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was also, it is still, spirit races, the Jewish people. They were controlling the world. Yeah. Then they got defeated. And thus, now they're... Te technically yeah. subhuman. Yeah. So did you hear how there's a new Hogwarts game everyone's hating on because of its story? Oh, do you actually? Yeah, uh, and I do think the story is both okay and a little weird. So, to my knowledge, I'm the story kidding. is you're putting down a goblin rebellion. And everyone's conflagrating the goblins with the house elves into the, apparently they like being enslaved. No, the goblins hate it. It's the house elves who like it. Because that's all the house elves know, apparently. Which, that's a can of worms in and of itself, but apparently if people are conflagrating several issues within the series like, at once, and I think that's part of the reason why it's so, like, controversial. Uh, so, Neko, did you say, want to say something on this? You seem to be talking while I hate you, but... <sighs> Otherwise, I'm just going to explain what actually might be one of the sussier points of it. Excluding the fact that Rowling is Rowling and problematic oh, yeah, in of herself. That's, yeah, that's also yeah. it. But one of the more sussy things is, uh, have you ever realized how a goblin looks? Do you realize the goblins are basically a Jewish allegory? Yes. There's a Star of David on the center of Gringotts' floor. So, that is an accident. Oh, is that is that not intentional? That is not intentional. It's because the, it was a real bank. And the bank oh. already had the Star of David on Oh, it. so basically it's entirely of that just happened to be there when they shot the scenes. Yep. Okay, but that did not help matters at all, did it? It did not because also the goblins have big noses. So Yeah, and they're stereotypically greedy, money-hungry, backstabbing, big-nosed bankers. And that is a lot of like World War II era Jewish allegories going all sorts of places. Yeah, and with the whole also analogy of, oh, also, this quote-unquote oppressed class, because technically it is that they're, they feel oppressed in the Wizarding World, I think, is one of the reasons they're rebelling. Yes and no. To my knowledge, the books to take it slightly differently than the actual than the movies do. And no, that... I meant in the, in the Hogwarts Legacy game. I oh, in the games, okay. Because of oppression. So yeah, see, that is a separate matter, but I know in the books that it's less that they're oppressed outright and more that they just don't have equal rights. Because it's pretty much stated outright that if the goblins really wanted to overthrow, they could overthrow whenever they wanted, because they're just that vicious in battle. It's like, 
It's like, basically, the only reason they haven't is because they're more or less content having entire global control over the wizarding economy. Like, if the goblins shut down all their banks, the wizarding world, the wizarding universe, as the books know it, would collapse within a week. Although I did hear, like, a theory, like, you could essentially, like, uh, make infinite money if you, like, do, like, some sort of, like, conversion thing, like, convert your, uh, like, muggle money into, uh, wizard money, and then, like, go back to the muggle world and, like, auction off your wizard money because it'd be, like, this, like, weird gold no one's ever seen, so if they so... think it's really valuable so you get more money... It's... You bring it back to uh, the wizard world where you convert it back, back to wizard money and you keep going back and forth and you just get infinite money. Yes and no. So galleons are pure gold. Like they are pure 24 karat gold. And they're like half an ounce each. They are like, they are large coins by coin standards. They're large and heavy and they're pure gold. So if you had enough muggle money to make like a, like a sack of galleons... You'd have enough pure gold to earn yourself a killing. And then you have Man. that much more muggle money to turn into galleons. And that much more galleons to turn back into muggle money. Like, the silver ones are pure silver. And the nuts, the, the, like, the nuts that are copper, they're pure copper or pure bronze. So the is that only just what Neko said essentially. Yes, basically the pure the pure precious metals basically. So if you sold them, you'd have like a killing. Yes, pretty much exactly. So the only reason I'd ever play Hogwarts Legacy, besides the fact that I can tame and ride magical beasts, is we're allowed using the unforgivables in that game, because we're not playing as Harry Potter. We're playing as whatever the fuck we want to be. Yeah, I know. If I play, I definitely won't buy it. Like, I, I'm not going to buy it, but, like, if I ever got a chance to play, I'd 100%, I'd want to use the Unforgivables at least once just to see I did it. Because yeah, that's, like, a problem. thing. Yes, yes, Slytherin. I know you did all it as amazing shit, but Harry Potter is the main character, so go fuck yourself. Pretty much. It's like, I want to just it's be like... I want to use the Unforgivables purely because it's the only Harry Potter game that you're not playing as Harry Potter that lets you use the Dark Arts. Like, pure, true Dark Arts. Why is this sounding like the Harry Potter equivalent of Force Unleashed? Sort of. You're uh, basically, there's a karma maybe. system. There's a karma system, and the karma system is what judges you based on, like, what spells you can cast. Like, you can't cast the Unforgivables unless you're at super low karma. But you can you can straight up just cast at like the you can straight up cast the killing curse, the torture curse, and the mind control curse if you have low enough like will like goodwill. It's like your ultimate spell, like your alt basically. It's on like a cooldown because it's like big and flashy, and it insta kills stuff because you know killing curse. You know, technically Harry Potter is a fan fiction. I'm sorry. Huh? Look at its similarities with Star Wars and its similarities with Lord of the Rings. There's far too many to consider a coincidental. Uh, what about... Do you know the hero's journey? The, the, the hero's journey is the original fan fiction, Sarah. Didn't you know this? Yeah. But yeah, the hero's yeah, journey is basically... Yeah, hero... Yeah. I mean, if you want to get into literal fan fiction, apparently, isn't Fifty Shades a Twilight fan fiction? Well, yeah, it's straight yes. up. In fact, uh, there's actually, like, a flat out fan fiction called Master of the Universe, which was written by the author of Fifty Shades before she wrote Fifty Shades. And if you read it, it's just the story of Fifty Shades, but all the characters have the names of the Twilight characters. So basically, Fifty Shades was the revised sellable copy that wouldn't have gotten slapped with 12 different forms of copyright. Exactly. Yeah, but if you but if you actually look at it, uh, you really do realize uh, it is practically just... Creativity replaced, is dead, God has abandoned us. Replace names with different names. Yeah... Fifty Shades is proof God has abandoned us. 
kind of. But also, so there's something actually you can tell in the book. Yeah. That is really a sign that it was basically written as fan fiction on <sighs> the website that it was posted on. Oh no! Because What's up? what? What's what? What is it? Is it bad or is it like memey? No, it's, it's not even like. It's that you can tell that well, sex scenes don't have any plot happening in them. They're just sex, yes. That's how most fan yeah. fictions are. But they're... It is... It's because of where it was originally posted, they didn't allow you to have sex in there, in yours. Yeah. Thus, the sex scenes were sequestered off into uh, E.L. James's website. <laughs> So, do you want to know why thus, it's... They, so they here's didn't the thing. have anything plot in them? Yeah. So here's the dumb part. You want to know why fanfiction smut scenes are called lemons? Why? Apparently, apparently cit like citrons are the sluts of the fruit world. Mm. Lemons? Or the lemons? There's all the citrons getting, on with, getting it on with something else. Limes? Same thing. Apparently, citrons will basically crossbreed with anything you put them close to. Like, type of tree be damned, they will they will give it their best shot. Which is why the fan fiction sex uh, spectrum is called is on like limes, lemons, and other forms of citrus fruit. So basically, citrons are the fruit equivalent of Zeus if you were a bottom. Yeah. Cetrons are the core of the fruit world, yes. <laughs> and, like, I saw a post on Tumblr, like, oh, we're slut-shaming the fruit now. And they basically went and posted, like, several, like, actual, like, scientific studies of, hey, cetrons are fucking whores. This is why. Like, there was science behind this slut-shaming. <laughs> science. Anyway, do you want to continue, or do you want to change games? Let's go for at least one more. Alrighty. Not, we're gonna change. But the question is, what the fuck did we go play? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make you play a board game. Okay, what board game? Uh, maybe Magic. I don't know how to play Magic. I'll teach you how to play Magic. Will you, though? Will you succeed? Footprint. Wait. Uh, I have a problem. What's your problem? I don't have my drone. The fuck do you mean you don't have a drone? Come into the living room. I'm definitely there holding a big flashlight. Where the fuck's your drone? I know. All right, looks like we're going to Tabletop Simulator early. Yep. Wait. Oh, were you planning to save that or something? No. Are they going to let us leave? I don't know. Are you loaded, are you loaded in fully? Is that the problem? I have no idea. Uh, leave and let's see. If you're going to leave. Oh, there we go, we can leave. Well, here's the thing, sir. I need to install Tabletop Sim. What? I didn't install it. Hey, I... Install it. We can do one more. Well, I just make sure I have it selected or whatever. I've already closed the game crash. Uh, yes, 80s. The reverse of Macaulay Tolkien. The game. Huh? The game crashed and closed. Or, yeah, closed or crashed. Something like that. I think I just escaped too many times. Probably. Let me start the installation process. Tabletop sound. Tabletop sound. There it is. Saw that on this one.
I had a question. Do you think somebody ever? Do you think somebody made inscription into a into a tabletop sim game? Uh, yes. Inscription's fucking fun. Like the part one of Inscription's fun, where it's just the card game. Mm-hmm. But apparently, it becomes like a fucking RPG after t- after like, after Act One. So there is an infinite. Infinite card game, like infinite card game mode, but it remo- it changes a lot of rules and makes it really tedious to play. As basically a hey, play the game normally, you weird degenerate. It changes rules, removes cards, changes how cards work, and like it basically removes rules, changes rules, removes mechanics, adds different mechanics, changes mechanics, removes cards, bans some cards, makes it so some cards don't do what they say they do. It basically, it's basically like a hey, Let's just give this old, let's put this in the blender, put it on for five minutes, and whatever happens, happens. Good fucking luck. Play the game normally. Basically goes from cool card game that you can definitely end up being really OP in. Like, you can definitely end up becoming extremely overpowered with those death cards. To, hey, let's make this as tedious as possible to basically punish you for wanting to play infinite card game. It's like, what's the point of what's the point of having the infinite card game mode, which is the superior part of inscription, if you can't actually play it like the card game is supposed to be played, with its all of its proper mechanics in place? All right, tabletop's done. Yeah, I would imagine it's done. It's, it's, it's such a small thing, actually. Right, I am launching tabletop. I am also launching tabletop. And not in VR. Do you not have your VR oh. game? You not have your VR set up? I'm not going to do that now. Because it would be... I would get too sweaty. Also, I think the test end might be dead. Battery-wise. It's uh. not actually dead. Like, I need a new one. What the hell? Uh, what? There it is. I was looking for the EXC to add it to the to add it to the uh. I just wrote a Florida man thing. Do multiplayer with a super secret password. Is it jizz? No, there is no password, actually. Well, I'll make sure to say just chatting until I've joined you. It says, how to find servers. Steam might be dead. Can I just join? Can I just join off you? Well, if we had other friends, we could play. Uh, I don't know if this is working, Sarah. I click join. I don't know if it's working. If we had one more person, if we had more people, we could play cards. Like, proper cards, but. When I click join and nothing happened, should I restart Steam? Maybe. Let me actually just look. Okay, they have stuff and announcements like today, so it should be up. Yeah, let me relaunch tabletop. So we can play checkers. Do they have trapdoor checkers? I don't know. They have chess too. Oh, it says I'm not playing tabletop simulator. What the fuck? How many variants of chess do they have? Ah, probably a lot. But uh, invoit me. Okay, I need to create a server first. 
Okay. You have connected. Well, uh, I should switch to this game via everything. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I was gonna say, Sarah might make me flip the table, tabletop sim. Oh, whoa, 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 scene, there we go. Oh, did you flip the table before me? Yes. <laughs> you dirty bitch. Yes. Oh, uh, we kind of need that table back, don't we? Yeah. I can't flip the table. Maybe a setting that I have on that doesn't allow you to do that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Loading in... What in God's name am I looking at? Looking at a giant table. And everything else, like the cannon? Uh, that's just a cannon. Uh, I'm trying to... Where am I? Which one of these is me? Which one of these? Boards? Well, you have to click on yourself and then click one of these. Where's myself? That's the problem. I don't know where I am. Upper left. Not upper left, upper right. Do I click change team and then click one or no? Yeah. No, uh, change color. Change color. Okay. Okay. You have to click on one of... Yeah, okay. Now... I'm going to uh, doom you to oblivion. Okay. To play the best form of magic first. What the ma oh? I can flip the table if I wanted to now. So if I lose, I'm flipping the table, bitch. Learn know that now. Yes. I'm oh. going to lose, so I'm going to flip the table. As is expected. So how do I play? Is the answer I don't? Well, I first have to load a deck for you. Oh, yeah. Aren't there, like, 12 different magic decks? Uh, there's billions of different magic decks. No, I meant, like, the actual, like, themed decks. Which are, like, the lower, uh, I guess... Actually, there is way more than 12 themed decks. Oh. I thought there was, like, different expansions. So there's, like, a jungly themed one. There's, like, the ice one. There's a planeswalker. Like those ones, like the, I guess they're like expansions. Maybe an MTG app. What? Apparently a Magic the Gathering app. Yeah, there is. But Hades doesn't have enough cards, wouldn't have enough cards to do anything in that, really. So this is actually just a little easier. Fair enough. That's yeah, not a that that, that is not a basilisk. Yeah, that is kind of like the downside to like getting started with a uh, TCG. Yeah. Like you, it's rare to start out with enough. I rotate to really you. Do anything effective. I rotate them. 
Yeah. I like how that's not a bass. How do you how are you doing? Are you scrolling? No, I'm uh, E and Q. Uh, so that is definitely not that is not a basilisk, by the way. That's a cockatrice. That is a that's a chimera, a, a type of chimera. Definitely a griffin. That is the most malnourished manticore I've ever seen. And that is the buffest werewolf I've ever seen. Holy shit, look at this dude's arms. I am... Um, look at that dude's arms. Begin with? Not all of them. How do I get rid of them? Did I just shuck them off the table? Uh, you can press delete to delete them. Shucking off the table doesn't... Get a good look. I didn't get to see daddy. Also, I like how mythological there's no fucking dragon in under mythological. Oh, there's a lizard. There's a wyvern, a hydra, and a black dragon, which is not the D&D &D black dragon, I don't think. Some weird noodle it's shit. Surprising, considering that MTG is kind of meant to be in the D&D &D universe. Uh, it, no. And yet. Yeah. Well, there's beholders. There's a beholder. There are D&D &D tiles. But this is not, like, these are not D&D pieces, I don't think. I will now teach you how to fumble my way through a, the losing to you in magic. Yeah, but we're only doing stock commander deck. So I'm still going to lose because you're the one who plays magic, like, religiously. Yeah. So which one of these 40k decks do you want to be? Yeah, let me, like, uh, yeah. We have... The Imperium, the Tyranid, the Necron, and the Chaos Warriors. I mean... I guess I'll take the Tyranids? Okay. You, you, you just gave play. you you just gave them to yourself. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> you got the brain cell. VTubers, VTubers, people. So, are you going to be the Imperium? I'd assume. You two are PNG tubers right now. You know, that... VTubers are VTubers. We are using a virtual avatar and stand in of our real faces. So yes, we are VTubers. Now let's draw these two over here. Okay. I'll go first. Oh, okay. Bruh. Bruh. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, you just do, you just, oh no, you fired Steven out of the cannon. Hey, land on his feet. Ten points. Yeah. Ten points to Slytherin. That's still not okay. a basilisk. That is a cockatrice. How do I shuffle with that? Press R. Now, I'll hover over your deck. Yeah? And press 7. 7? Yes. I, 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 oh, oh, okay. There we go. Alright. So what am I looking at? Okay, cards? So, so, there are two key types of cards in this game. I see land, land and beast, and yes. Spells. Lands you have to pay and play and tap to get what's known as mana. And you have to have enough mana to cast the spells that you have. The spell cost <sighs> of any card is listed in the upper right corner. Okay. The upper right corner. Often, I'm just going to plot my, one of my cards. Actually, no, I can just use your commander as a sample. And my commander. So... You notice how there's the cost at the top? Yeah, I think Mine yours... Costs four, but it costs one of each of those colors listed and one miscellaneous. So basically, you could have, like, two of the star-looking ones in it? Yeah, true. Okay, and mine's, like, what? Three, so it's, I have to have one of each of those? Or, no, wait, is mine cost, like, Yours six? costs six total. Mine costs four total. Oh. I don't. I think I'm gonna lose before I can get a chance to actually play my commander. Possibly and possibly not. Yours is about bringing out big monsters. Mine's about bringing out monsters. I think one of my cards just costs X. Well, okay. An X cost card is essentially you can play anywhere between zero and infinite mana. Oh, so they are technically, it could technically be played for free. Yes, but usually X also has something inside the text. Let me read this. Yeah. Something, 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 counters, something, 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 draw. I don't, I'm not going to pretend I understand that, so I'll play that when I, I'll, we'll cover that when we get there, huh? Yeah. Okay, well... Here we go. So, Time to lose. Now, before we do anything, now you, now I know what I need to do. So I did what is known as a mulligan. Because I didn't have anything that I actually could really function with. I mean, I don't actually think I can play any of my cards except that one with the X. Do you have something that you could play turn two, technically? Uh, depends. Do we just gain mana over time? Uh, no. When you play lands, you then would tap the land. would use the land, which is called tapping, to generate a mana, unless it says otherwise. I mean, yes, but I also don't think I have any cards I could play because of how, because none of them cost what the land card would give me. Well, you're supposed to build up land over time. It doesn't matter if you can technically play something on land on turn two. You want to worry about turn... Well, you do you want to worry about turn two casting and not so much turn one casting? No, I meant, like, I don't think any of the cards... I don't think any of the cards I have actually use the mana type the land will give me when I tap it. Okay. Uh, then click on that thing that has the cards right here. So shuffle it. Left click on it. I'll give you seven new cards. Do you think there's anything you could do within the first two turns? Uh, yeah, what does this one do? That's a two cost. That's a, that's a, that's a three. That's a three. That's a one. So I might be able to do that. No, that's an enchantment. Never mind. That's a, that's a three. That's a five. No. Nope. Oh. 
So All of my cards are really fucking expensive. Then you might want to do that again. Let me see. If I can get a one in cost, I can work with this. Yeah. I'm going to keep my mulligan that I did. Okay. One cost, one cost. Actually, that's a three cost, but I have things. Yeah, you should have at least. You should have three land in your hand. Is I have generally what it's suggested. I now have three lands in my hand. Yes. Okay. So I can Do work want... towards. I can work towards. I on turn three, I can cast an actual monster card. Yeah, that's fine. Frequently, people don't play out that fast, and I don't think that many of these War Four K decks are that fast. Well, I mean. Realistically, yes. It's like, yeah, on turn three, minimum is when I can actually play my cheapest card because everything else, the other two are a or is a six and a four cost respectively. Yeah. So this is actually okay. going to be really, really expensive cards. Now I'm going to play out my first turn. Okay. So I'll swap, tap it to play out the infamous soul ring. So what is so when you turn it sideways, did you tap it? Yeah, that is called tapping. And that gave you the point you needed to cast that artifact. Yes. Now I would uh, suggest you um, go up to where your character, where not where your character, uh, basically that near the top right, there should be like a degree, whatever symbol with like 15 30 whatever yeah rotation degrees is. put that on 90 yeah you want to you probably want it at 90 okay it's on 90 that is my turn now i don't know what to do besides that it's your turn so it's your turn now first there sh there is this thing that I'm hovering over, click it once, that will be the draw for your turn. Okay. Now, you want to get a land that you have. You usually want one that can make so that you might be able to do something. Okay, you play out a forest. Can you do anything with that forest? Uh, I don't think so immediately, but I think next turn I can. Are you able to play more than one card per hand? Like per, per turn? Uh, you can play out as many cards as you want, but you can only play one land per turn unless you've got an external effect that allows you to play out a second. Okay, so I have no... So I technically have no mana right now, yes? Oh, uh, you don't have mana until you tap a card. How do I... How do I uh, make it do? How do I rotate it? Uh, okay. E or Q. Okay, so now I have a single green. Yeah, that will disappear at end of turn or end of phase. So, say a card has a one and a green. Does that mean I need two mana to cast it? Yeah. Okay. Because if you actually hover over a card, it, it has this thing called CMC. That is its true mana cost without differentiating between mana symbols. Okay, so can I untap this and wait? Yeah. Alright, that's that's my turn then. I can't do anything else. Okay. Then I press untap and draw one card. Is that your turn? Then I play a card. That brings starts in tapped. And I gain one life because of playing that card. Alright. And your go. Okay, so draw. Let me get that says okay. This needs that. So do this.
And then if I tap that, I can play a, a, another no, okay, land? So or is it just I play another I land? I played that. I need to explain what the sorcery is. A sorcery is a single-use card that you play out. You follow the instructions, then discard it. Okay. Put so... it in the graveyard. So essentially what happens is that, you draw a card, if you haven't already. Yeah, I do you a may card. play out an additional land. All right, now do I untap these two? No. Okay. That's that's my turn. Okay. I play out Space Marine Scout. They have first strike, which means when I attack, they attack first before your minion can attack me. Okay. Or it. And vigilance means when it attacks, it does not tap. Now, secondary thing is because you do control more lands than me, I search for a planes. What does that mean? Uh, there is a card known as planes. And voila, I search for it and place it on the battlefield tap. All right, so do I technically only have the one fire card, or did I... You, only, this... you only have access to one red mana. Okay. Right now. Okay. All right, was that your turn? Um... Yes. Okay. Now your turn. Now, first... Wait, I should draw first? Yeah. Well, draw and also untap. Alright. So, can I retap that forest, or do I need to put another forest down? Oh, you can... As long as they're untapped, you can tap them for mana. What's that one actually say? You also need to tap this one. Oh, is that a three cost? Yeah. Okay. And what does that actually say? It says when it deals damage, I pull, I can play a land card? Yeah, when it deals damage to a player. Okay. You search your library for a land card and put it on the battlefield. Right. Yeah. And then realistically, that is my turn for the time being. Okay, now we need to transition to what's known as combat phase. I assume because whoever has means that you can attack first turn at first time it comes out because creatures normally have summoning sickness when they come out. Yeah. Like mine had summoning sickness because haste means that they don't come in with summoning sickness. Okay. Meaning that you could attack me with this jackal, but I would suggest not doing that because mine has first strike, meaning mine would just kill you without even getting damaged. So, so what you would just would do all of my, you would just do all of my damages right away? No, it would mean that your if you attacked me, I would defend with the thing that would just kill your thing without dying. Oh, okay, okay, yes, and I will hold off. Yeah. So then it transitions because there are so there are three phases you need to be aware of, which I assume would be the play phase, the combat phase, and something else. Uh, there's the first main phase, the combat phase, and the second main phase. Mm. Then there's the ending and beginning phases, which I'll mostly touch on if you actually know the like nitty gritty details of them. Yeah. Otherwise, it is really just they exist, and it's when you untap and draw for the beginning, and then there's stuff that happens during the end that you don't need to be aware of until you have a card that would happen during them. Yeah. So, now it's just my turn unless you have something else to do. I... I, I gotta recheck to see. Uh, nope, nothing. I can. You... I cannot play anything yeah, at this I'd... current moment. Yeah, okay. Untap. Draw.
about that. Do you have, like, five mana, basically? I have access to seven separate... No, no, I don't have... Yeah, I have access to seven separate mana, technically, because it's these four, six, then I have to pay one to get the seven total out of that. Oh, what, does Dark Water need to ha have a cost to tap? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, look at you. my commander... Look at you. Or I think you pretty much already won because mine's a six cost. Well, you still have forty life. Ah. Are you gonna choose to attack or are you gonna suspend me? Well, I'm gonna see if there's anything else I want to cast first because I got three mana right now. Uh. Yeah, I am going to. Uh, you know what? Actually, no, I can't activate that ability when they come out. Okay, I'm going to attack with my Space Marine. Account. Okay, yes. Uh, they have three damage because of my commander. Okay. So I assume that means the Jackal's so, dead. Yeah, if you defend with that. Yeah, so if I defended either... with if I defended with him, would I still take further damage because he has more numbers and the card has health? No. So your card has something called trample, which is trample. Any excess damage dealt to a creature passes on to well, creature or creatures passes on to the player if you are attacking. Oh, so basically, it would it would die, but it would hurt me in the long run. Yeah, so you wouldn't take the three damage that I could deal. Uh -huh. oh. You want to sacrifice your creature to survive a little longer? Well, stay at 40 a little longer? Yeah, sacrifice it. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea how long it's going to take till I get another act something I can actually summon, but I'd rather stay at 40 as long as I can. Yeah. Okay, and that is my turn. Okay. Now your turn. Alright. Well, I now have four manas. Yeah, four total mana. Let me actually read what this card says I can do. Maybe I should have given you the actual simple deck I've created. Maybe, maybe not. So if I gave you the actual simple deck, I'd have to play my, what I slightly consider to be a mean deck. Uh-huh. Because my simple deck, I call the dog horse deck. Mm-hmm. And the reason I call that is because commanders are a dog and a horse. And the entire purpose of the deck is... Can I play that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now let me explain vehicles. Vehicles are not creatures until you crew them. So basically, it's there to take damage until it has something in it. No, they're, they're not even defenders until then. Ah. No, well, that that is literally my turn. Like I can't do anything past okay. that. Yep. Uh, play this land. Wow, that's a lot yeah. of mana you needed for that one, huh? 
plus only four mana. Ah. Okay. Uh, for the Saurus Call, they have two powers. I can tap them and tap two untapped artifacts I control and create on the Star Days, or tapped X untapped creatures I control to the top X cards of my library. I may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it from my hand and the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. So does that mean since you have two untapped creatures, you know, your your commander and that one, you can throw, use the top two cards in your deck and look for an artifact? Uh, yeah, I could view the top two and get an artifact, but I don't trust to have an artifact there, so I'm just going to attack. Okay. With what? <laughs> With both of my commander and the Space Marine Scout. Okay, so basically... For six damage. Yeah. Because you can't defend with this until you can crew it, which you've got nothing to crew it. Yep. So, take two, like, six damage off me. So I'm at, like, what, 34? Yeah. Okay. Is and... that your turn? <clears throat> Mm, yeah, because I'm just I'm not going to play anything else. Okay. After this, if you want to play another round, I'll give you the dog horse. But if you don't, I'll just pull out what I think is a pretty fun board game. So... I think I play a. This is a land, so, I think. So I sacrifice you, you that. You play that, and then you tap it, sacrifice, pull it another land. How do I search the deck? Uh, right click, click on search. I. I. What? Oh, there. Right click on the deck and click on the search. Oh boy, I'm lagging. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I. Oh no! Oh nope, no! Nope, don't type. So basic land. So this is a basic land. Yeah. How do I flip it? F. Okay, and it says play it, and I said play it tapped, right? Uh, yes. And then shuffle my deck. Yes. You said that was R. R. A couple times. Yep. Okay, so I currently have a mana. A fire mana, okay. Oh, actually, you don't have that, because it enters tapped instead of being tapped by you. So it doesn't oh, so... generate anything. Okay, so... The reason I feel like I'm blowing you by making you play this game. I think I understood that one properly. I need two manas and one fire to play it. Yep. Okay. So that is my turn. Yep, that is your turn. Now it is my turn. And tap, draw a card. It is a land. Let me read let me read this. Hang on. Whenever it attacks, destroy up to one target artifact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Control the control. Okay. So I think if so, I understand that right, if I attack you, I could destroy, say, your soul ring, and then if I destroyed it with my attack, draw a card from my deck because I control the attacker. Yeah. Okay. That makes no. More. Actually, I would be. Or would you the be the one, one... Who control the artifact? Oh, you'd be the one drawing the card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But actually, if when you attack with that, don't destroy destroy my soul ring. You can also destroy this creature because it's an artifact creature. Oh, it's also a two floor, so I would actually be able to kill it. Yeah. Okay. I think I need two anyway. creatures to crew my truck. Yeah. Oh, you just if you read it, it is 
any number of creatures with a total combined power, oh. which is the first of the two numbers, yeah, up two. Meaning, if you tap two ones, that would be two, or one, two, aka what you currently have, yeah, would equal enough for that. Okay. Anyway, so what are you doing? You just gonna flatten me some more? Uh. No, I'm just gonna attack with everything. So kill me, basically. Yeah, it would be nine damage total. Okay. All right. Wanna I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the thing for now. Okay. All right. And then that would be my turn. Uh, now your turn. Yeah, what's this to say? Uh, I think this, I can, I can tap this and it will be either of those colors, yes? Like it could be one of, yeah. one five, one red or one green? Yeah, but, uh, so you, so that, does, that comes in the battlefield tap because you did not reveal either one of those. What do you mean? What does it say? Oh, I don't actually have those. Okay, let me turn that then. Yeah. Uh... Even to have disadvantaged you by not advising away from this, that. I have four apparently. counters. If I read this card correct, I have four counters. Okay. Because uh, I, I... Actually, I, it wouldn't be four counters. Or would it be three? Or it two? It would be two. Two counters then. Okay. Either way. So does that make it a five five? Because it has the plus one plus one. Yeah. It would okay. Be five five. All right. We actually have plus one plus one tokens somewhere right here. Okay. There we go. So that's plus five. And then. So if I crew my truck, can I still attack with these other two? Like, use their stuff? Uh, no, the one that has been tapped... Because it requires you to tap them to crew it. Oh, so basically I can't use them as their thing to crew it? Uh, so... If you were to tap them to crew it, it would mean that you'd have the 4-4, four, four, but yeah. this other thing would uh, be tapped and not able to attack. Because to be able to attack or defend, you have to have it untapped. So, in theory, if I were to tap this and then use this to attack, I could then make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. Because it said stowage. Whenever Goliath truck attacks, put put two, or is it? Uh, I put two counters on something of yours. On another attacking creature, but just let you know, you can attack with the the Tyranid guard because it can't attack yet since you summoned it this turn. Oh, okay, so I have to wait till next turn. Yeah. So. I want to attack with this. Okay. Now, what do you want to destroy with that? You can. I want to try to destroy your thingy. Oh yeah, that just destroys it. Okay. Cool. I didn't know how for the for the, uh, the space marine Astartes thing worked. No, you see your your thing is just whenever it attacks, it just 
you can destroy up to one target item. Oh, okay. Okay, then yes. That is basically my now, atta that's my attacking turn, I think. Yeah, now you're attacking, and I can choose to defend with anything. I choose to defend with the Astarte Scout. So you have... Well, it was a 3-1, so you would destroy my my Rock Cutter? Yeah, and I've got First Strike, so mine wouldn't die as well. Because normally, creatures deal damage to each other simultaneously. E. The last one has First Strike. Okay. So essentially, I blow it up. Okay, so just chuck it into my graveyard? But in reality, I don't offend with that. I actually play a different card. Okay, so don't just don't chuck it into my graveyard yet. Actually, do because I play the great name Paragon, which is an Astartes Knight. It has flash, meaning it can be played as though it's an instant. Okay. Instants can be played during any phase, but sorceries can only be played during your, aka the caster's main phase. Yeah. And this one's ability is when it enters the battlefield, I destroy target attacking creature. Okay, so basically that was your defense, okay. Yeah. Is that your turn? Uh, that's your turn. Oh, that's my turn. Okay, so your turn's up. Yeah. I think choosing the Tyranids heavily disadvantaged me. Probably. Because all of my cards are like five, are like four cost, five cost, six cost, and above. Like very few are actually like efficient to play. Yeah, I mean, look at look at look at the disparity here. I have land. You have yeah. attacking. I played Sisterhoff the Taller. Uh, I return a Turk creature from my graveyard onto the battlefield. And I gained life equal to its mana value. So basically, you've restored your artifact creature. Yeah. Okay. And now, if you attack with everything, I think I just die. I can actually only attack with three of them, but you might just... Oh, you're, you'll be close to dying. Okay. Also, there's something else that I do need to give you, technically... There's this thing called commander damage. Yeah. And if you accumulate 21 of it, you insta-lose. Oh, so basically you're attacking is... with your commander and I'm taking commander damage. Yeah, it's an additional way to lose. It's because some people create decks that never drop to zero health. So they decided to build in another mechanic called commander damage so that if a commander deals 21 damage to you, you lose. Okay. Okay, and then... I then play this card. Okay. Uh, it's two things are, when I enter the battlefield, I create one 1-1 one, one white soldier creature. And then when, it, when this attacks, everything else I control, including everything I control, including it, has death touch. Which means they insta-kill, yes? Uh, they... Insta-destroy creatures, as far as, I'm, as far as I think that goes? They, they insta-kill creatures as long as they deal damage to the creature. Ah... So basically, using them as defensive options would just ensure I lose. <laughs> well, it only is when it attacks. Okay. Okay, full damage I would deal is... Eleven. So I'm not quite dead, but almost. Yeah, you're almost dead. I'm not defending with anything, because I... Cannot really risk, because, again, only two cards. So, actually, you could spend with something. You could spend with the Tyranid Guard, 
I don't have anything that would actually overpower that. I would suggest killing the commander that I have. Okay, then I would I do this. Okay. Does that get rid of all your little your little plus ones, your plus one zeros? Yes. Yeah, and then you gain back three health technically. Okay. Is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, now, because I lost mine, and you might be able to... Okay, this turn I was just playing out your commander. Oh, that's what, I'm, that's what I was going to do. I was making sure I... I've been trying to make sure I have actually enough to enough of the miscellaneous colored mana to actually cast it in addition to its yeah, you three do. cost. So let's just tap everything, then. Yeah. He gets a plus. He gets a plus two, plus two. Yeah, because it says he gets two plus ones. It, yeah, it says he gets two plus ones for each time you cast him. Uh, I don't remember the rolling for this, but to give you an advantage slightly, I'm going to say that it includes the first time you cast him. So he's actually a seven seven to start out with. All right. And then addition. No, I can't actually cast anything. Never mind. I don't actually wait. Uh, well, I don't think I can actually use this card as it's written purely because I don't have any creatures in my hand. Like one of my land cards. Uh, let me just see it. Uh,. No, actually, so I can explain this quickly. Please do. You choose a creature type. It's just Tyranid. Yeah. That's the creature type. And basically, you can it can either be tapped for colors mana or mana of any color that can only be spent on Tyranid cards. All right. So I'll leave that so untapped play it for out, the time being. And then you say Tyranid. So yeah, well, definitely only... Tyranid. But I'm gonna leave it untapped for the time being, purely because yeah, I would have this top deck of here, and it otherwise wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, it remains untapped for the time being. Now yeah. you have that five five untapped. Yes. Currently. So. Am I allowed attacking your creature cards, or do I have to attack your health directly? So, you can only target one of two things, but because of the decks we play, I won't list the other one. Uh, you can either attack me, or this... I still list the other one, or this card called a Planeswalker. So basically, so basically just attack you directly, yes. Yeah. But then I can obviously defend with other stuff. I'm attacking with both my commander and my guard. Or is it only the one? Only sickness still? Oh, okay. Then just... So, do you have... you? I don't think you have anything that can kill a 5-5, five five, do you? I don't. But I'm going to defend with this to keep myself from taking damage. Okay. Then now it is my turn. Okay. enough. I play this card. I choose this, the Grey Knight Paragon as the target uh, power, meaning it's four. Thus, you lose both your commander and your Tyranid guard. But here's how I'm helping you out right now with a smart play. You sacrifice the Tyranid guard and your commander doesn't die. Okay, then yes, I do this. Okay. All right, that is your turn? Uh, no. Okay. That's not your entire turn, at least? That's not my entire turn. Okay. 
Are you resummoning your commander? No, I uh, I decided to do what is known as a smart slash dumb move. And, win? and I played that to see if I could destroy your commander so that I could just swing with all. But now it doesn't even matter what I think swing with. One of them will die since your commander is indestructible and cannot die this turn. Yes. Go ahead. So I am Throw a card still away. going to swing with all. Throw a card away. What? Don't you, don't you just... I defend, yes? Yeah. You defend against one of them. I would suggest probably against the Grey Knight. And then this one taps, this one taps, and this one taps. This one doesn't. And you take nine damage. Okay, yes. I'm basically next turn I'm dead no matter what, huh? Actually, no. How am I not? You, though more likely than not, you have two turns. Okay. And you can just choose to forfeit if you really just don't want to continue. I mean, I'll see what I draw next and base my play off of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Your turn. Okay. So, realistically, I can do fuck all. That's what I drew. I mean, I could... I mean, I could just tap these... Play this, but I don't actually have a second creature to put the thing on. Well, actually, so I would still keep it out. So then I would, just to give you a chance, since technically you won't die next turn because you can still defend against one of my creatures. And I yeah. will be able to deal eight damage to you. Uh,. Hold out and see what you draw the turn following this that you have. Mm -hmm. And if there's nothing, you just forfeit. Okay. Now, can I attack with my commander? Since I don't think you can actually deal with a 7-7. Seven, seven? I can't, but I can defend against it. To make you not take damage. Yeah, but also, I'm at 45. I'll be fine with taking the 7. Okay, take the 7, bitch. Okay. I at least want to get a damage in. Okay, and then that's your turn? Yes, that is my turn. Tap. Okay, I tap six mana to cast it out, because each time you cast it, it costs two more the next time. Oh, so basically he'd cost an eight. He'd be an eight cost if he dies. Yeah. That's and then fine. I just attack with everything else that is my commander, and you lose. Yay! I'm I, I'm curious. I want to see what I what would I what I would have drawn. Oh, a tear in it. Look at that. Yep. Yep. I kept getting nothing but lands and like five costs. Anyways. Since I did say I was going to flip the table if I lost. I mean, I, I said I was going to do it. <laughs> you flipped the entire room! Holy shit. Why was <laughs> the room part of the table? Uh, because it was, like, all bound to the table to make it look 3D. Ah. Hey, look, Stevie survived. Anyways, uh, how do I, like... Absorb them back into my deck. Uh, so, for your commander, let's place it back here. But, you essentially just select all everything that would go back into it. How do I do that? 
control click each one and then like your graveyard and your hand you'd also want to select and then click on your deck and press G All right, let's not have me play with the Tyranids again, yeah? Yeah. I will get you the dog deck. And you're going to be the horse deck? No, it's the dog horse deck. So the side stick, just these off to the side somewhere? Uh, yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I pick up the whole deck? All right, there we go. So this is a uh, this deck has technically a special mechanic mm -hmm. known as partner. It means you can have two commanders instead of one. Ah, uh, so I assume there's a dog commander and a horse commander? Yeah, that's exactly why it's called dog horse deck. Mm. And familiarize yourself with the... All right. Is that the one I want? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your commander deck. I would shuffle it. Now, I will actually explain to you how you play this deck. Please do. So, essentially, you first want to play out the dog. Yes. But first, you need to play out a land. And then the entire point of this deck is playing out legendary permanents. Which is any card that sticks around. Yeah. So Even basically boots. So basically try to keep the dog and the horse out as long as possible while stacking buffs. Yeah. Because the point of your deck is to Outlast. Not outlast, but deal twenty one commander damage to me. At once. No, in total. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I assume click seven? Yeah. Alright, let's actually take a look. Now I'll get my... What does this actually say? Hang on. Do you have the wrong token deck? I just kept my tokens where they were, and they're not the correct tokens. tokens. I need. Yeah. It'd be pretty weird if you just sent out a fucking Astartes on a dog. Yeah. Okay, who goes first, me or you? Uh, well, we should roll for it. E. You can go first if you want to. I like 
this. What? So yeah, you play out that, play out your dog. Now it would be my turn. Yes. You're mulliganing. You keep, you're not getting any lands, are you? Uh, kinda, yeah. Okay. Play out. I should draw my card first. Mm hmm. Uh, Blood Crypt. I decide to play the two. So that I can play out Striking Sliver. All slivers I control have first strike, including it. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that is my turn. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. You have a land you can play? Uh, I'm sort of. It comes to play tapped. Oh, it comes to play tapped? Yes. But your dock has been powered up to be a 2 2. Do you have something to play via that? Oh. I, th I think it's the same element, yeah? Yeah. You, so, unless it's a land that actually says it just gives generic mana, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to worry about mana coming. Okay. Yes, that is my turn. Okay, you you would actually want to attack me with your dog, because it's either I lose my creature or I take three damage. Well, yes, then I do this. I'm going to take three damage. Okay. And I technically need two of these, that your two commanders deal different commander damage. Uh-huh. All right. Yes, that is my turn. Because I can't play anything with that. It comes into that tapped. Or tapped. I'm attack you with the 1-1 one, one sliver, that first strike. That could take out your defending thing if you defend with it. I am going to choose to take the one one the one damage. Okay. Okay. That is your turn? Uh yeah, that is my turn. My turn. Okay. There's a very high chance I will lose. I need I need to pull this out so I can actually read it properly. Yeah, like Says... capture the bad art technically for that. Uh, it says add one to my mana pool. Oh, okay, are these steps, or...? So, it's... You can choose either one. It's either you add one, or you pay to tap, choose a color. This would be white, probably. And you add equal to the devotion to it, which your current devotion to it is two. So I would get two, ma two white mana for that. Yeah, two white mana for the cost of two of any mana. Since I don't actually, well, if I I can get three mana to tap that because I can tap this to pay pay two life, tap this, tap this. That would be three mana. Tap that for only two, so I will not do that. Uh, I would bring out your horse. So just tap this, tap this. Yeah. yeah. Horse. Your dog is five five. Okay, and then I choose to attack. Okay, you attack with both of them or only one? With both. Okay, I would take eight damage. 
So I would tap the dog and the soldier. Yep. Now my turn? Yes. Forfeit. You forfeit. My, I was thinking. Oh, I'll just, I'll just draw some better, some cards that might be able to help. Let me guess. Nope, you are I'm drawing is killing me. Cool. I win by, I win by default. Yeah. You want to try again? Want to try again? What do I? How do I un un on it? On it? How do I get rid of its counter? You can like click and drag select. Now, roll. You want to roll? Uh, yeah, you can go first. Okay. Oh wow! Okay, Never. this. Okay, I just saw this card. Wow. I I'm if I get to the point of if I get to the point of I play this, I need to ask a serious question about it. Okay. Okay. We'll get there when we get there. Yes, we will. Okay. You're going first. Did you already do your hand? Yeah. You already yeah. drawn? Okay. So that's your turn? Yep, your turn. Uh, which of these? Is this, is this my dog? That's my dog. Yep. But that is my turn. Okay. Uh, uh, should we reset our HP? Yes. And do I... Back to 40, there we go. Alright, your turn's over? Right, now you tapped, so what are you trying to... What are you playing... Uh, I had to tap to not sacrifice the land I played. Oh, so it's basically it's a land cost unless you play it tapped. No, the land literally dies unless I, when it enters, pay one. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can look at any of my cards there on the battlefield if you want. Right, let me take a look at these. Also, if you want to look closer to it and have a zoomed up card, press alt. Oh, you're me. Oh, this rupture spire means if you play it, it kills itself unless you pay. Yeah, and hey. you can actually make the card appear bigger on your screen if you zoom, if you scroll up. No, that does not work. But you need to press Alt. I hold down Alt. Oh, like that. Okay. Anyways, that's your turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm. Just play this for the time being. Okay. Because I actually have fairly expensive cards in my hand for the time being. 
Yeah, boop a doop. You want to play out your horse? All right, I can. All right, horse. Yeah. And then if you want to attack, that would be a four four. I attack. Yes. Okay. Wait, you took nine damage from that? Yeah, because the no, number said the number said nine. It said I gained a nine life. Oh. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. Play out predatory sliver. It's a 2 2 because it's on ability. It basically just gives itself a 1 1. Yeah, and I was hoping that I'd get another land, but I didn't. Ah. Uh -huh. are, are you attacking? No, I can't. It's got summoning sickness. Okay, that's so, can attack when it comes out. So that is your turn? Yeah. Go. How do I do? I just search through this for a vampire. Actually, wait. No, the top deck is the vampire. vampire. Top deck is the vampire. Top deck is the vampire. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm just throwing out all your tokens so that you don't have to search. Search through them. It's just I can I can play another I can play a land. Play this one. This commander deck that I gave you is too overpowered. You think? Have I been able to do anything against you? You've not actually... We've only been able to play the one creature card. Yeah. Anyways. Which is why, if you want to play again after this, I'm changing decks to what I call the angel deck instead of this one. So you're going to, be, you're going to make yourself overpowered? No, the angel isn't as overpowered as this one that you're playing. <sighs> anyway, that is I my turn. Let's see, wait. One. You can attack. Oh yes, I attack. With okay. With both. Okay. So you take seven damage unless you want to defend and lose your creature, or eight damage unless you want to defend. No, it's nine. Take the nine damage. All right, all right. My dog's a seven-seven, seven, and that's a two-two, right now. Yep. Okay, that is my turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This. Take the two to keep it untapped. Sure. Alive. Total of five damn five stuff. I got two to you. Oh and they no. have menace, so you can't defend with your one thing. Okay. Is that your <laughs> turn? Yes. So your turn. I know, I'm counting. One. That could be up to, I think, four. That would be five. I think. Wow. 
Does this, does the enhancement count as devotion? Uh, so devotion is the white mana symbols on a card. So you have three white mana symbols currently. One, two, five. Wait, not the six cost shit. No, that wouldn't be five. That would be one, two, three. No, man, this would be one, this would be two, this would be three, so this would be five, but that's a six cost, so I can't play it. No, those two create two mana for you, and that costs two mana to even activate it. Oh, never mind, then. I'll just untap that. I misunderstood it. So... Mindstone. That's well, uh, that's my that's my turn because I can't actually do anything else besides attack with attack me, these right? three, and that would transform. That. So what does this transform into? Okay, I need to remember how to transform this. I think if I press no, you have stolen it. Hola. Okay, what does this do now? I've, I've, I've got to see something. Okay. So what it does is now it counts as land, and also it can create vampires. Okay, that's... That's one, three, that's, that's ten. That'd be eleven damage. And tap, tap, tap. Okay, uh, your turn? Oh, it was my turn, okay. Yep. So... That's three, you said that's just three, yeah? Three devotion? Uh, no, you have two devotion now. How do I have only two devotion? Because your other thing that had devotion is now gone. Oh, does the vampire not count? It does not count. Okay. So. I cannot actually play a card. I can only attack. Okay. So I win. What the heck? I win. Massively, actually. Oh, how did you put it on plus 19? What did you click? I clicked something that I don't know how. You like, okay. you like, put him in a Super Saiyan 3 dog mode. I kill your dog, actually. Oh, do you have a defense? I do. Okay, dog I defend goes... with everything. And I've got a total of 10. So, and that only had 9. So which one creature do you not kill? I'm keep that this one. one. Okay. But I still take the 4 from... This one and the one from that one. 
Oh, man. Nine. Yep. So that was your my that was your defense. So this is your turn, correct? Yes. Okay. I can bring out my commander tower. Okay. You can finally bring out. I can afford it now. I play out this. It causes its own effect, which is cascade. Meaning, I reveal the top until it's something that I can cast. I cast this. Okay. Then I cause target player to put the top two cards of their library in their graveyard. I do that to you. So let's move these two down without flipping them? No, you can look at them, but they go in your graveyard. Uh, okay. Okay. And? And that's my turn. Okay. You all die. Also, your things die. Okay. Everyone dies. Back to the fucking start. So it says they can't be regenerated. Does that mean you we can't play our commanders anymore? No, there's this th there's an ability called regenerate, which if a creature would die and you activate regenerate, it regenerates. Oh, so you pay you like pay a cost to play it without actually putting it in your put it back in your hand or something? Yeah, but okay. Jace, the planeswalker, is not a creature, so he stays out. Is he a is he a sorcery? No, he is what is known as a planeswalker, which is not a creature. Oh. My turn. Or do you e have something? You have nothing else to play. I have no land, so yes, it is your turn. Yeah, okay. So I assume this means my horse is now a five cost, and my dog's a three cost. Uh, no. You notice the two? Yes. That is actually how much additional you have to pay. So it is a so there's three, so much... four. Okay, so the dogs, so the horse is a four, the dogs a three. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that is my turn. Rockfell Vell. It enters untapped because I control two other, two or more other lands. You have a lot of land. I have four. You have, like, what, six? Yes. All yeah, of my I cards are, like, really expensive right now. Like, really yeah, expensive. I, they, you do have a medium of cards, aka, I think they're around the three to four, three to five, should That's be a, where your cards sit, but you've got a lot of high. Seven. Yeah. Five. Six. Okay. Uh, discard. Not discard. Put the two top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Well, that is your turn? Uh, no. Are then I say to bring out this one, which I have to tap that much for. Is that a silverfish? Uh, yes. Okay, so that is your turn? Yeah, that is my turn. Hey, another land. Yippee. I mean, I gotta, I gotta do some, I gotta do some mathematicians in my head, so that's one, two, three. So you have five, access to five, five mana. Wait. That'd be three to play out your oh, dog if it weren't oh, the two. Oh. Yeah, that'd be the three I want to play with my dog. Okay. And that 
is my turn. Okay. Yeah. Actually, wait, can I? Oh, wait, no. Summon sickness, never mind. Yeah, no, that's my turn. Yeah. This is, okay. conf this is confusing, but it is not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, now top two cards in graveyard for you. Can I draw a card? Oh, no, the land I could have actually genuinely used. Play this in tap because I don't want to lose the health. How much health does it cost? It costs two to untap it. I only have nine. Ah, so that would be a death sentence at this point. Practically. Okay, so that's so I you play are you Broxiclex? The fuck is that? It is what is known as the Phyraxian Praetor. Are those like fucking is those like the magic versions of Tyranids? What the fuck am I looking at? Kinda. That's like a fucking lesson. Yeah, well, this is also the magic version of the Borg. Oh, so basically... The Phyraxians want so, to turn everything into them. So basically, assimilate, 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 dominate. Yes. Okay, so they're like the thing. Yes. Okay. Anyways, are you going to attack with your silverfish? I could attack with both, actually. Oh, does he have... That one has haste. Ah, so you would do... But I'm not going to attack with anything, because I want to have the possibility to defend against you. Okay, so that is your turn? Yes. God damn, everything is so fucking expensive. That's an 8 cost. What? That's an 8 cost. God damn, everything is so expensive. Yes. So I have a 7. I have a... Uh, no, it's a six and a seven. I have an eight cost and a six cost. Like those are the two creatures. Those are the two, like decent cards in my hand. Anyways, uh, that's a four cost. So one, two, three, four. Horse. And that is my hand. That's my that's my turn. I choose to not attack. Okay. Okay. Because I would much rather uh, not lose the dog to your defense. I'd rather wait. So yes, I do not attack. Because unless I somehow fuck, unless I somehow pull another planes out of my ass, I would not be able to resummon the dog. Okay. Uh. Hey, look, another eight cost. Yeah. And this and tapped. So I assume the pay to that only applies if you want it to be untapped on the initial turn. Yeah. It says you may pay to or wait. If not. It enters tapped. I assume you're bringing out your weird, your weird, your your own weird dog. Yes. Okay. She cascades and brings out. Johnny, Strength of the Pride. Can you actually play that? Yeah, well, Cascading is you reveal the top card of your deck until it's less than the cost of the card that created Cascade. So basically that one. And then you may pay it without paying the mana cost. So basically you have two Planeswalkers right now. Yes. Okay. Is that your, hand? Is that your turn, or do you plan on attacking? Well, I up it by one and gain five health. Congratulations. So you do seven. Uh, you do a substantial, actually, a substantial amount of damage to me, actually. Yeah. Um. Your go. Okay. Shit, give me something I can play. Damn. Um. Oh, I can play this. One, two, three. Oh, actually, wait. Is that a basic? That's a basic. Okay. 
If I play this thing, yeah, that that's my that is literally my turn. Like I'm basically hoping to fuck I don't end up waste end up losing whatever lands are left in my deck from me drawing my two tops. Because uh, at this point, everything else in my hand, I physically cannot cast, period, unless I get more land. Okay. Okay, uh, that's my turn. About this. Oh, wait, should I... It, wait, I did you... Oh, wait, you untapped your thingy, so I don't need to ditch my top two? Oh, I haven't tapped it yet. Oh, should I just ditch them now? No, there's a chance. I, I will. Yeah, let's just do that now. Okay, not a land. Not a land. Thank God. I I hope the fuck I draw a land next. Oh, this is gonna be the sliver. So this enters in. It's no. It causes what is known as cascade because it is a sliver from my commander. Oh, it's a changeling. Yeah. Changeling count as every card type. Ah, so technically he is everything and nothing. Because he is an outcast, yeah. he is nothing. You okay, Neko? Yeah, I just... I don't really have much to say. Okay. Mm, Although I do and... feel a little sick. Mm, you uh, should go lay down. Yeah. I am. Lay down more. You gonna join me? I don't know. Okay, and I play this one out. Okay, can you explain to me something? How yeah. is it you can open a can of soda and it's flat? Um... Time. If it heats up, it goes flat if it gets hot. Yeah. Also, if it ex if it's expired, it's flat. Cause that's just oh, like boy. the like the shelf life of the carbonation more than the actual syrup inside. But this is like a fresh from the store can. Is it they warm or cold? Cold. Did it hiss when you opened it, or did it just open? I think there was a hiss. So if it hits when you open it, that means there was some carbonation left, meaning it was not fully flat. However, it might not have. It might not have. Had, it might not. It might have just been from a batch that didn't get a whole lot of carbonation to begin with. So they may have been mostly flat to begin with. I mean, I got it in a. Tw I got it in a twelve pack. The first can I opened was uh, perfectly fine. The second can. And is the flat one I'm talking about? Wow, you are just having a lot of problems, aren't you? How's that cascade working out for you, Sarah? It's working fine, actually. It's working as intended. Are you going to be able to play all of those? No. Just whatever one actually fits the criteria? Yep. Which is a one-cost card. Oh, are you doing your change? Is is your, your changeling your, your that's the sliver? No, the sentinel sliver is the one. Oh, I do all slivers have cascade? Yes. Oh, is that just how the creature type works? Uh, it's how the command. Oh, the commander gives all slivers uh, cascade. cascade. Yeah. It's gonna be a while, huh? Yeah, and I have to do it like this instead of searching. That's a fucking were dragon. Yeah, essentially. So, that's Mercy. I got a question. Is it a, yeah. Does it have to be a creature card, or could you play a land if you drew a land? Uh, it has to be a non-land card. So it has to be a one-cost creature? Uh, it has to be a non-land card. So yeah, it has to be a... It has just has to be a one-cost creature, or spell, or sorcery, or what have you. One or lower. Are there free sorceries? 
uh, there are free. There are cards that are technically free. That ha that's okay, now. That's a predator. Yeah. Now I have to shuffle my entire deck because that also triggers uh, cascade. But there are no zero cost cards in my deck. Except lands. No zero cost nine nine cards. Yeah, I would say you have zero cost cards. It's just they're not creature cards. Anyways, are you going to attack me with all of that? Or what you can? So I think, like, the... What? The the first sliver... The... Basically, the the middle six cards, I think? Um... Or the middle five? Or does the sentinel sliver count? Oh, you actually take... Yeah, how much damage, damage am I taking? Three damage? Okay. And then I tap to bring out this. And thus have to cascade some more. Alright, here we go again. What's the cost? Uh, four. Okay, so you might actually get one without going through your entire fucking deck? Yeah. That was a th that's a three. Yep, and that doesn't cascade. So, what is it? Because it's not a sliver? Not sliver, it's a plane blocker, but I ha I'm minus one from it. And you put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. Oh god, alright. Oh boy, the only probably the uh, watch me get only lands. Possibly. Two you of the two lands. Oh boy. I'm never gonna be able to play a fucking creature card. Yep, and then your graveyard goes into exile. Basically, I, mean, I you can't even you can't even draw stuff out of your graveyard now. The only things I want out of that are those like the three planes that were in there. So at this moment, all of my things are five or more. Is that your turn, or do you plan on attacking? Uh. Because you might actually do, like, 20 damage to me. Well, I can only actually attack with, like, three of these. You can attack with this one. I know that much. That's been out for two turns. I think you can attack with this one and this one. And maybe this one? Yeah. Okay. I attack with all of them. I mean, I could defend, but I'd lose all of mine, I believe. Well, you could actually kill one of them, the first sliver's chosen, with your Odric. Okay, would I still lose the other two, or would I just kill yours and then take the well, remaining actually, damage? so, defending with anything kills anything, because I just remembered that I have both a card that gives everything first strike and a plus two to their power card. Alright, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fucking take the damage and die, basically. Okay. You take That's nine. Nine. That's seven. Or that's eight. No, that is that is not a sliver, so it doesn't get the plus. Oh, okay. So that's six. That's five. That's fifteen. Twenty. You take twenty damage. Can't you can't can't you fight with this one too? Because this one's been out for three turns. It's a change, no, so it would get out. the. How's that? Oh, has that been out um, just this turn? Uh, yeah, it's only been out this turn. Jesus Christ! Your cascade went on for a while. Yeah, and this, he's the only one that tapped. Okay, is that your turn? And then I want to gain some health. Tell you tap your lion thing. Yep, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I gain eleven health. Wow, I think you're actually gonna win this because I can't get lands to play anything. So actually I know how you can win this. If you've got something that can give haste. Do you mean the one of the cards card? you mean one of the cards that's in my graveyard currently? Yeah, possibly. But if you've got something with haste, 
you could attack with Audric, trigger his ability, and make so that everything that I control defends something other than your dog. And my dog and would lose. deal... Hello, Loaf. How much damage would my dog deal? You would deal at least two, which would kill me. Oh, right. Because of this thing. Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. Let's see what I draw. Let me see, what, what is this? So... One, the four. One... Dog. That's my, that's part of my turn. And then... Cast Aud... I uh, cast Audric. A separate time. And I'm fairly certain that's my turn because everything else is a five or above. Yeah. So I'm just gonna admit this. I win next turn, basically. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to choose to attack with what I can attack with and just take the damage and die. Yeah, because I would, I basically just defend against anything you have, and it would basically die. So without me losing anything. Go ahead and just, since I lose, I'll, I'll forfeit now. Just look at what my hand is. Look at this bullshit. Look at all this. Look at these cards. What the heck? At like, least the Urza Ruinous Blast would help. Yeah, I mean, but I don't have... Oh, actually, I would have five, wouldn't would not? No, I wouldn't. You would have had five. And that would have okay. got rid That's of what? Reverse. Everything... So would that have gotten it rid of gotten everything? Everything that wasn't the legendary. So basically, just this, this, and this. Okay, can I do that instead? Yeah. So just take back these two cards. Okay. And you know what else happens because of it? What? You also do lose these the two stuff. lands. Oh boy! So I can't actually play anything further unless I draw more lands. Hooray. At least I don't die this turn. You want to know something else that's fun? Uh, the game froze. It kind of did. The game is still frozen. The game is freezing whenever we do something at the same time. So what else is fun? Do you lose all your lands, too? I lose all my lands. Hooray! You can't do anything. You can't do anything. I can't do anything, either. Yeah, but I do also keep my Planeswalkers, because they're legendary. So I put this in my graveyard as well, because it's an attack? Yeah. Okay, that is my that is my turn. Okay, my turn. So, Untap, basically... Draw. Tap. Okay. I draw a card. Oh, look at that shit. Hooray. I'm just <laughs> not going to be able to play for the rest of this. Uh, then I gain two I more HP. From him. You might as well just gain two more HP. No, I might oh, have you're two using... from him. Get this out. Did you win? And then I make you d discard the top four of your card, oh, of your deck, and sick. then exile it. I swear to God, if I get more lands, I'm going to flip the table and just rage quit. <sighs> Are you going to flip the table? Do you want me to? Well, you can, but I'm going to reverse it. <sighs> You can, you can hold, click, and pick it all up. Okay. Are you going to attack? With this and that? And kill me, I think? 
uh, no, I wouldn't kill you even if you did not. I have like but five HP, I think. You have ten. You have fifteen. Okay, even if you attack with those. Yes, but I'm gonna keep them un tapped because I don't want to die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, is that your turn? Yes. <sighs> this is a three. That's a three, so I can't even do that. Make another vampire. Yeah. So, I mean... Dog? Yes. Dog. And... You just need to survive one more round. That's all I have. Okay. That's all I can do. I can't, I can't, I, I can't even attack. Because you, your, your, your one legendary would probably defend and destroy my dog, and I can't resummon it. Because I don't have enough lands. Okay. Uh, move minus eight from this guy. <sighs> How many cards am I getting rid of? None. Are you just getting rid of him so I stop losing land? No, I get seven cards myself. Oh, I hate you. Do this. I choose. God damn this! This one game has been an hour. Yes. <laughs> I choose um forest. Okay. What are you summoning? I then lose a health. Okay. Again, what are you summoning? Play out this. Let me see what the card does. It all right. It all my slivers, aka the only other one that exists. Is an eight eight? No, can be tapped for mana. Oh, so now you have basically a an extra land card, huh? Yes, and now right. I cascade to search for one cost. That's a two cost. But I have it has to be a one cost. Oh, it's because it's two or it's 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 less or it's equal. Is it? I thought it, is it is it isn't it equal or less than? Well, you can read Cascade's effect on the first liver. Hang on, let me read Cascade. When you cast a spell, exile cards from the top of your thing until you ex oh until you until you exile a non-land card. Okay. Yeah, but all the things that were exiled got the bottom in the random order. Okay, and then you have me, who's basically just like I think half of my like a quarter of my deck is just exiled. Yeah, okay. it's actually a quarter. Nip drawn, bitch. That's a one cost. Actually, that's well, that two was two cost. cost. I'm gonna be here a while. Yes. I recognize my one cost. Which, all my one cost may actually be in exile right now. What, from when I fucking nuked you? Yeah, when you nuked us. Yes. Look at all those le That's a fucking xenomorph. Yes. That's a, t that's a two. That's a seven. At, th at this point, you have more cards in exile than you do not. <laughs> yeah. So what happens if you get through the entire deck and don't have anything? Uh, then, uh, I just reshuffle my deck. And just that that this I I think it, honestly at this point you might as well just take the hit and just not. That's there might want. be one left. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. There's none left. So basically, you can no longer cascade because you'll just be infinite drawing. Unless you no, happen, I can. To, unless you happen just, to get now, I hope to get not less. a. You just hope to not get a one, a two cost. You need to hope to get a three cost because there are some two two cost cards in there. Yep. Uh, top four cards. Oh, fuck then you. exile. Fuck you. Okay. So I got if I get, uh, 
I, I don't think I have any more lands left, Sarah. And then... What next? I forfeit. Okay. Because you know why I forfeit? Why? Because you, you know you don't have any... Audric exists. And thus you can make it so that I don't block your... Dog and win? Dog and yes. you win. Okay, I do that then. And win. So we played all this for this. You to succeed. <laughs> that game got bullshit once I lost like all of my lands. Yes. Want to actually play a different game? Yeah, let's go play something other than this. But what though? Because we only have like thirty minutes left before four hours. Ah, well, I am going to make you play a super quick game. Still in this. Still tabletop? Yeah. Okay, what is it? It's called Box. Box? The Box. The Box, okay. It's got a title. It says, World War Three Image Error Received No Data. Uh, something seems like it's not working properly. And, uh, but since it's not working properly, let's switch. What are we going to go play? <laughs> I need to find something that's short enough. I mean, we could go slightly long. We have to go four yeah. and a half if we have to. Get an hour of whatever game we switch to. But that's what do we play? Yeah, it's either we continue from here or we just switch games completely. I mean, either works. This is what do we play? I don't know, but I'm I'm just going to see if this exists. You're seeing another thing if something else in tabletop exists? Yeah. Okay. Dungeon exclamation point. Let's actually just go here and search for dungeon exclamation point. See if they've got a scripted version that can help us. A scripted version of something dungeon related? It's just called dungeon. Oh, dungeon exclamation mark. Yeah. Ah. So were all magic games that drawn out and tedious? Not always. But if you get fucked, they can be. Yeah. Cause I mean, I I like nuked your I nuked us, and that was your sort of. I ended up exiling your all your cheap cards. Yeah. So and you kept playing, you kept getting cascades on two costs. Yeah. And then you exiled literally every one of my lands, so I could physically not draw anything better than what I had. Yes, but you still won in the end because. You did. Audric. Yeah. Had Audric and... gotten exiled, I would have lost. Yeah, but that card that you played is in that deck to help you a lot. What, Audric or the nuke? The nuke, because it's a nuke that doesn't exile your legendary. It exiles every. It just basically exiles everything else. Yes. Actually, you know what? Instead of dungeon, I've got a different game. Oh, whoa! Wait, what? Is, what? Wait. Oh, that's the name of the game. What is it? 
called. Actually, I should see if this. It's called this, Hyrule Fantasy. This is even. This is this is, this is poker. Oh, this is even brighter. The world no, is that slowly not... rendering in. Yes. Oh, it's a Zelda game. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, if that's the game I think it is, it you it sucks. Uh right. What am I looking at? Is this competitive? Or Yes. Yes oh. and no. Well if it's the game I think it is. I mean, it looks like we're here to looks like we're here to fight Ganon. Yeah. How many uh, links are on the board? Up to six, looks like. Or do you mean like actually printed onto the board? I mean, like, how many like game pieces depicting Link are there? Six. Looks like six. Okay, it's one game, I think it is. It's one. Well, it's one per player. So, yeah, one per player color. Okay, so it's not the one I think it is. So should I pick my blue, the blue one, or is so should I pick the blue one because I'm blue? Yeah. Uh, we start on the starting space. Where the fuck is that? Oh, there it's it right is. Here. The one that has start printed on it. We've killed him. He's dead. I imagine they did that for us already. Okay. Those. What exactly are we doing, Sarah? How does this work? <laughs> I kind of forgot how to play this, so maybe we shouldn't. Let's not. Because there's an actual fucking rule book with tiny print that I can't read. Unless I zoom I in all the way. Yeah, you're the one reading everything. Congratulations. Learn us how to both play, Sarah. Uh, okay. How long ago was the last Zelda game you played? When was Breath of the Wild released? Uh, long ago, like 2016 or 17. When did Breath of the Wild release? 2017. Something like that. I found a Korok. Is it Korok? Found it. The tree's got a mole that spawns Koroks. Why are they so fucking big? Uh, because we're not. Okay. Oh, are we in Majora's? Are we in the Majora's Mask universe? Because behind us is the moon. No, we're in the the first Zelda. Oh, so black and white top down. Not black and white. This is the actual map in color. Oh, essentially. Okay, so maybe we should maybe play something different, unless you really want to memorize the rule book for us both. Yeah, I can. It's actually so far it seems super easy. Okay, we move the number of spaces according to the amount of hearts we have. So, at the beginning, we can move up to five. Yes. Okay. Then, players cannot move their pieces past obstacles, such as bushes and boulders. Um, can I fuse of what exactly it means by that? Okay, so... Does it mean, like, we can't just go forwards? Right here. Yeah. We cannot go here. 
Oh, so basically, you can't you can't go past like map boundaries, like the like cell boundaries. Yeah. Okay. So I could say go okay. all the way over to this way, but I couldn't go from here up. I had to keep going straight or go back. Okay. God damn it. Hey, does Ganon a werewolf? Why do we need silver to kill him? Uh. Because we just do. Technically, he's kind of a were creature ass thing. Is he like a were pig? Kind of. Okay, so how do we actually play this? Because you're the one with the brain cell right now. I assume whoever kills Ganon first wins. Since when is Sarah not the one with the brain cell? Uh, while we were playing Ghost Watchers, I had the brain cell. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, God. <sighs> you know what, I know the rules for dungeon more so i'll just actually make us play that oh did you find a dungeon game yes okay let's go play that i flipped the table or most of the <laughs> table okay what the uh, fuck i actually this... wait majora's moon was an actual physics object apparently i'm getting 12 different errors but uh... things are loaded in what the fuck sort of shoots and ladders bullshit is this? Okay, well, whatever this white one here is, I can't see one of the red pieces. Like, I see it's Puck, but I don't actually see it. Oh, there it goes. Open. There, you can open the YouTube URL. Okay. So, how did this work? You can Sarah? play as a rogue, a cleric, a fighter, or a wizard. Is this also competitive? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll play as the wizard and just die to a random twig. You know, I found multiple versions of this. Let's open a different one and hope it actually loads in. Because there's enough in this that doesn't load in that I don't this, think it will work. I got no errors for this one. Yeah. So I shall be... Come. I see the hey. very creative uh, character namings. Wizard, superhero, hero, elf. Something this doesn't... one also isn't great enough, so. Oh wow! Look at the look, look at this shit. Did you see the for the scores? It looks like they said the wizard needed to get a hundred thousand to win. That is actually accurate. Why? Why is this a wizard OP or something? A little bit. Okay. I none of these good. Okay, I'm just gonna go for Dungeon 2014 version. You wanna just go play an hour of Red Dead? Because, Hold uh... this one to load, and if it looks okay to me, we'll play this. 
doesn't, let's just go back to Ghostbusters. Okay. You want to go bully Krampus some more? Or do you, I mean, we could just play like an hour of Red Dead. Get you some more gold. I don't, I don't currently want to play Red Dead. Okay, well, we can play VCD, Ghost Watchers, Dark Tide. Well, no, not Dark Tide, because Dark Tide takes too fucking long to load. Yeah, let's just, let's go back to Ghost Watchers. Okay. Oh, wow, it didn't let me fucking flip the table because you quit. Yeah, haha. -ha. Slut. At some point, we need to figure out how to make, you know, do modded Minecraft together. Yes. Because we could do, like, Skyblock and shit. You know, we could do Terraria at some point as well. Mm. Did you say at some point we should try, we should do solo content and just talk to each other while we play different games? Like, off at night, not, like, consistently, like, you know, every now and then, like, you play, like, your shit breaker, and I play whatever I want to play. How are you, Neko? Hmm? How are you doing? Nothing much. Are you enjoying the stream? Or are we over here putting you to sleep with how much we talk? I mean, I'm not tired, if that's what you're asking. I mean, you said you didn't feel good, so I didn't know if like you'd end up dozing off because you just didn't feel good. Uh, it's, it's more like... Uh... Not kind of a like a nausea thing. It's kind of that weird, uh, like burning sensation where you it kind of feels like you wanna you wanna up check, but you don't. But like nothing's really like coming up. So it's like it's like it's, it's like you're it's like you sort of puked up in your own mouth. It's like that sort of burning at the back of the throat. Or like kind of the burning sensation, like you already did that. Well, like, I never did. well, I mean, the thing I'm th what I'm thinking of is like, if you like, sometimes you like you, you know, you eat a lot and then you like, you know, you burp and it sort of burns because you know you're full. So it's like okay, so basically everything I ate today consisted of liquid, of a large fry from McDonald's. Okay. A Small Dr Pepper from McDonald's. A, yeah. A chocolate shake from McDonald's. Uh huh. Three slices of uh, pepperoni Domino's pizza. Okay. Uh huh. Two brownies. Yep. One can of specifically real sugar Pepsi. And then that uh, flat. Uh, so can like I what was Pepsi from about. like. Pepsi from Latin America, where they use, like, cane sugar? Because don't they make yeah, coke like, with, like, cane sugar like, down in, like, Mexico like, and like, Central America? There is a variant of Pepsi that says real sugar. Like, it comes in a different package. It has yeah. says real sugar. It's probably, like, yeah. probably, like, canned in, like, Mexico or Central America, where they use, like, actual cane sugar. Apparently, it did taste different, and it's like actually different, like built different. Yeah, it, it does. It, it it is, it is a different taste. Yes. So apparently, yeah. anyone anyone who ever like a lot of people on Reddit say like, hey, they had Coke with cane sugar for the first time, and basically, they're like their eyes have been opened to apparently the fact yeah, that like, Coke yeah. tastes like shit otherwise. Yeah, I agree. Like, th there is a like a clear reason I'm on Team Pepsi because Coke is just too bitter for me. I'm a Team Sprite root beer and orange, like Orange Crush type person. I don't really drink like pop pop. Seriously, 
Okay, so so you're not really a cola fan, like I, even like store brand cola. So like, my thing is just like I don't like how they taste. Like they have, a, they give me a weird aftertaste that just never leaves my mouth, and it kind of drives me insane. I don't really have that problem. Well, see, I'm also from Ohio, and we're like in an abysmal vortex of a state. Right, yeah. right. You're serial killer capital of the world, and you're fighting demonic corn. Something like that. So, like, we have a lot of cornstarch in all of our drinks, so it like sticks to everything. Yeah, but like. Uh... Like, getting back on topic, like... I will say Pepsi is definitely better than Coca-Cola. Okay, so you and I agree on that. But I would have to say, like, if I had to drink a non, like, root beer, orange pop, Sprite, sort of, like, one of the, like, not, com like, not super, like, competing brand, like, Cola versus Pepsi, I'd have to say, like, this default bitch Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew? Like, just normal Mountain Dew? Just normal Mountain Dew. None of the other flavors, just just the standard vanilla Mountain Dew. I, I like how I zero sugar Mountain Dew. No, just regular Mountain Dew. I like how okay. I like the tang. The tang I really like. Okay, well, I I really recommend like getting your hands on some like cane sugar sodas because they are really good. See, we're from I'm from Ohio like where cane. we just don't do that. Like yeah, I don't like the, think I don't think like any there I don't think there's any imports of that sort of thing. Period. Not unless you buy it off Amazon and it takes like six days to ship and it's flat when it arrives. Anyways, let me actually change the game over. So sources, game capture, ghost watchers. There we go. New game. There you go. Now that. Turn on all of the shit. And bump it up to insane. Since we basically got this fucking abandoned house down to a science beyond Super Saiyan ghosts. So seriously, we've had a few rounds where, like, that puppet before we started before we started streaming, that puppet earlier today was fucking bullshit. Very. Bitch, literally fucking. If he wasn't insta hunting, if he wasn't just insta hunting, teleporting around, he was just the second you stepped inside, locked the door, and attacking. It was asinine. Like him and that uh, that initial Krampus, where he was also Super Saiyan three, and just blitzing me left, right, and center after he insta killed you, like out the gate. I do wish we were streaming when we first got the Babadook though, and he actually got his mimicry off perfectly, because the yeah, sound I... you made was um, just delicious. Like, that was genuine fear in your voice. Anywho, let's go. We can probably fit, like, a couple of rounds. Depending on how, how the ghosts are, we can probably fit two or three rounds. Provided the game just doesn't say, no, go fuck off, and not let us connect to the server. Because there have been several, yeah. like, server issues today. Right, we're in. I will take those as is my usual. Okay, let's pick up four. There we go. Got four. Left anything for me to pick up? I have the Geiger, the Therm, and the Milfreeder. Mm. 
mirror is upstairs. Toy is upstairs. Found the clock. Found dreamy. I think there's an or uh, an ectoplasm orb in the in the kitchen or dining room. Because I hear the gurgling and it's not super loud. Alright, Geiger counter is down. By the front door. I'm going to drop the clock Let's go off. In the basement. Oh, negative 15. Uh. It might be a drowned? Or, no, it's either a gallows or a child, because I'm going to EMF 3. So basically, if it has feet, it's a child. If it does not, it's a gallows. So we had negative 15 to 20. Really makes you wonder the type of people who just play this game by sitting at the door and just throwing stuff from the door. Yes. Especially now that we can just trap the fucker. So, are we missing the rose? I have mask, soul, rose. Alright, then we have everything. Now, got the car. Uh. Grab a torch. I haven't heard a single one. I see you have your drone. Did you just have it not equipped? Or was it a bug? It was a bug. Well, uh, you mean like, you, did did you just not have it at all? Or was it just invisible? I had it not at all. Alright, let's see if I can't get a Geiger. Oop, I'm getting a Geiger. Drag me. Wait, it's dragging you or trying to? It tried to. Alright, it's a 1 to 5. I drew a person. It's, uh, it's, it's a gallows. Okay. So it's a... It's, that was a Steve touch. What are you? Side to side, so middle. I think it might be a middle calm. But I heard Steve get touched. Oh, yep, that's a, that's a middle calm. So the holy jisms, so holy water, fire, salt, cross, and light three candles. So I'll take the holy water. And a cross, just in case. Because they, they, everything is one use. Do you have the fire salt, or should I pick it up? Uh, you should pick it okay, up. Okay, are you going to light the candles? Now, at, lit. at this point... He blew a candle out. I heard him blew it out. He blew a candle out. He just blew a second one out. Oh, that's you. Okay. Yeah, that was entirely me. Here comes the slow part of I don't know where he is, or else I'd go chase him down and throw this at him. Oh, he's a crybaby ghost. Yes, we figured that out. Where are 
are you? Give me a give me a sign. <gasps> Alright. Uh just go Todd, just go give him a nice caress. So, did he actually hunt you, or was that like he just attacked? He hunted. That was a very short hunt cycle, though. Yes. Uh, there he is. Touch him. Actually, how about we do this? Go get a defense item. Oh, I have my... I could have just given you my fucking holy water. Yes. I forgot I had it. Do you have items? I have my mask and a skull. No. Okay, I need another one. Oh, I could have. I I have all the items now, so I have the rose, the mask, and the skull. He's getting angry. He's getting angry, Sawa. Yeah, and he's about to get really fucking angry right now. I'm lagging. I don't have that. That's you. Rose. Yep. Dreamcatcher. That's just you, and you might want to move. I'm I'm waiting for that to be done. Ooh, very close to my feet. I. <laughs> Alright, he's trapped. Go get him, Tiger. Yeah, this is very much a rinse and repeat type of gameplay loop. Yeah, I can understand why some people do Phasmo the way they do. Phasmo definitely has more randomness to their games. Yeah, but also I just like Phasmo for that exact same reason. Phasma's random, but Phasma's also, at this point, punishing you for playing how you want to play. Yeah. Since, again, Phasma's, like, it's doing the 80% deduction apply to after the multi after the rewards tallied up. So you lose 80% of your reward if you play any sort of custom, multi custom modifier at all. You could be playing a one-to-one -one of a professional and lose 80% of that reward, meaning you make 160 bucks in professional if you get all the objectives. So you'd end up having only like $20. Yeah. I think what they should have done is just cap the rewards instead. Instead of adding a deduction, just cap the fucking rewards. So make it so you can only get like $600 for doing a massive multiplier. Like, just cap the... Give it a hard cap instead of a massive deduction. Because otherwise, at this point, you might as well just play... You might as well just play customs with all... With the lose items turned off. Because you're going to yeah. earn... A, you're going to earn about the same. How's he doing? Like oh, did he? I'm oh, did staring he? Staring at him while I steal his shit. Oh, uh, did he poop in the circle? Uh, next to it. Yeah. Uh. To be fair, we did kind of really fucking bully him right at the start of this uh, hunt, didn't we? Yep, and I just dropped that on accident because of my twitch. Uh. 
I mean, I suppose I'll go look for the monies. Yes. I think the money is not a guaranteed spawn. I think it is a random chance that the stack of bills spawn. Seems that way, yeah. Because we've had a couple rounds where there's not been one, unless it's been, like, in the basement somewhere, like, hidden. No chance it might spawn in the basement. Well, it might spawn on one of the counter, like, one of the tables down there. Yeah, eh, lag. Yeah, there are definitely server issues. There are definitely server issues. That may have been a hot fix. Like, there may have been worse issues. We may have just gotten lucky last night. Yeah, well, actually, I was, like, the server issues were happening for me. So, I, I yeah, we're definitely, there are definitely some issues that they're trying, I think they're trying to actively work out right now. Yeah, and anyone who really is like, oh, they don't listen to us or whatever, in my opinion... They well, do. it's they less that they don't, it's just that they're, they're, no, it's not even that, it's that they're just not as communicative with what they're doing. Yeah. It's like, they didn't announce that there was going to be an update this winter, and I mean, look what they did. Whole, two whole, like, a whole bunch of additions to the game. Alright, I'm gonna check the basement. Have you checked that front, the front bathroom? Uh, I've checked everywhere, and I found it. You found it, huh? But not the money. Not the money. You found the ghost. Yeah. Is he still in his? Is he still in his naughty? Is he still in horny jail? Yes. Also, I didn't find the ghost. I found his uh, just some. Ah, you found his the next ectoplasms. Yep. I think I we just def... hold that up. There's a chance he'd come to me. I held that up. How do? I... Oh, the mirror. Yep. Yeah, maybe don't tempt fate. Just in case he is able to break out if we give him a give him something that will let him break out, like something that auto hunts. Such as, but not included to the mirror. Okay, I'm trying to find the toy. Oh, toys upstairs in the laundry room. Okay, grab it and take it to the truck. Oh I'm gonna check this. Well okay. We also have light all candles on location. We want the money for that, or are we? Okay Might as well. Might as well, since he's trapped. We can't exactly get the take photo of the drag away because we have the bracelet of bracelet of destiny saving us. Yes. Which I'm not mad at. This has been a great purpose. This has been. I was a great purchase. Like, not being especially but insane where you drop everything in your inventory if you're so much as touched, so much as sneezed on by the ghost. So, have you got the last of his jisms? Yep, and then I, I threw a torch at our van to light it on fire. No. It caught, bitch. Look at that. Nearly yeah, 3,500 for one round. Yep, and we bullied successfully. Yep. And now I have about the cost of the drone back. Yeah, I am at like 9k. Again. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Again, because that took actually that took thirty minutes. Wow, so yeah. we had the last one for the stream. No, it it took twenty minutes actually. Oh, it just it took us that much. It took us like ten to load in. Here, you can have the guy. Or I'll just take the therm and the thingy, and this will be the last one for the night for the stream at least. Wow, the last one for the stream. Wow, the second I open the door, he grabs. He tries to grab. Like I didn't even step inside, and it went boom. How much are you guys paying for Nitro? Nine ninety nine a month. Uh, Nine ninety nine, I think, or six. I can't remember. 
footy prints. He has got footy he's, he's got footy prints. Footprints. Oh my gosh. Might be a boobadook. Wouldn't that be something? That'll be the first. That'd be on stream. The first on stream, at least. Curse toy. Curse toy found the watch. No, I think we encountered the Babadook on stream. Oh yeah, earlier today. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, what is he? Five ten. Five ten. Growl. Growl. Uh, how? What's the status of one Stephen? Uh, nothing. He's not been touched yet. He hasn't been touched. Skull. Oh, it's Skull. a UV ghost. That's a point. That's not a Babadook. So it's either a Poltergeist or it's a Poltergeist. It's a UV ghost. Woo! Uh, that means incense as our holder, and let me dump my skull. Watch. I don't need those. Oh, I got an incense. <sighs> Ouija board. What is it? What to give us? I heard the Ouija board go. Ancient. Oh, ancient haunting. The saw Stevie go. Yeah, yeet. So, fire salt. Holy fire. Open all doors. Move Steve. Let me go try to save Steve. Steven. Steven. Where'd you go, buddy? I have rescued Steven. Okay, put him in the van, definitely. Alright, let me put Stevie down. Here you go, buddy. So, fire assault, holy fire. So basically, just bully him. And I'll open yeah. all the- I'll open all the other door- I'll open all the doors I can find. Although, definitely... Oh, that- <laughs> Okay, I did that in correct order. You got you did you throw the correct item at him? Yeah, cause I've had both holy fire and fire salt. Mm -hmm. I'll follow you. Slut. Oh, I found another one of his guerps. Oh, he's in there. He is yeah. awful active, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. I've seen two of them. <gasps> I thought that was you. I didn't realize I dropped mine until I looked down. I'm almost entirely certain I stood in the way. You did. You stood in the way because I had my. I did. I, I would have died because I hadn't picked mine up in time. Is it me or does he seem a bit faster than normal? He might actually be a little faster than normal. All right. Uh, we need. Are we on open all doors? Now we're on find <sighs> shit. Really? No, we're not. I have Rose. Now we are. No, oh, I'm dead. Shit. You didn't have a defense item, right. did you? No, it dropped. All right. And I was like, I, I went to look down, and then he caught me. Purely because with how aggressive he is, I don't think I'd be able to do the. Get all guy. Yeah, we were on the pentagram boss fight, but I don't think I would have been able to do it on my own with only two tries. Yeah, only two tries. Well, yeah, specifically with the only two tries part. So, anyways, I guess we're wrapping up early. Wrapping up, sure, we can wrap up the stream here. Mm -hmm.
Actually, is Nian streaming right now? Nian might not be. Oh, something's corrupted on Twitch because the text is all sorts of fucked. Hey, Derpy streaming though. All right, Derpy. Okay. Oh, Nian is streaming. Nian is playing Raft. Okay. Ha! Ah, thank you for the raid on Sarah Barra. Ah, I raided you for you raid out. But hmm? YouTube's still live, so bye, YouTube! Aha! Uh -huh. Raid. Anyways, uh, bye stream. <laughs>